my check one two. Okay, what's going on with the stream? Why am I dropping so many frames? Don't drop frames. Don't be a dick. I might need to reboot the internet. Hmm. I'm assuming that's going to be buffering for everyone. Right, I might need to restart everyone. Uh, let me just have a look. Is it just OBS reporting it or what? Uh, where's my live stream? Come on, show up the live stream. Hmm. Is it working now? Or is it going to keep dropping frames? I'll keep an eye on it for a minute. <clears throat> uh, bear with me a second. Let me just get my windows sorted. Right, let's pop that one there. And let's not forget Twitch chat. Give me that window. Thank you. Uh... Damn you, Windows. There we go. Boom. All right. Okie dokie. Who we got? I just got YouTube short notice. Nice. We got Finks, Jaden, me. Uh, is that Alan? Uh, sorry for butchering your name there. I'll call you Romeo. That's easier. Um, Finks, Keith, Ian, Kev, Chris, Lessin, Peekaboo. Uh, Leon, another Chris, <laughs> uh, Keith, Andrew, Paul, CT Repairs, Casey, Jaden, Wushy on Twitch, hello. Uh, damn it. Fuck you, YouTube. Every time, man, every time. Um, Neil, Martin, Lee, Sam, Sarah, Joe, Mohand, Chris, Cheapass, Tech, CX, do suck balls indeed. Shame I can't use them. <laughs> uh, Stephen, Steve Bro, Pete, Graham, Mike, Brigada, John, Jason, Sam, Dan, uh, damn it! Every time it just keep, it just scrolls right to the bottom and loses everything. Es monster, boom, boom, splat. Michael, Stu, Mike, Virgil, Doc. Xbox is excellent. Thanks for sorting. Sweet mate, awesome. Uh, ben, Phil. Good evening, Alan, Jamie, Carter, Chris, Lee, Midlife, and Pete. And on Twitch. NGG, Claw Slug, and Young Bloody G. How do you know how to remove the PS4? Do you know how to remove the PS4 light bar on controller? Because I want to use a new shell. Um, yeah, once you unsc unscrew the two screws, it should just pop out. Um, yeah, how is everyone? I hope you're all doing good. Um, afternoon from Florida. Welcome. PS2 power button not working. I've never opened one, mate. I've never opened a PS2, unfortunately. Can I order pizza off your card? No, you freaking can't. You just said you feel sick. <sighs> you just said you feel sick. Anthony, Kane, hello. Uh, everyone give a like. Thank you, dude. How is everyone? I've got, I've got COVID. Oh, that sucks, man. Uh, I'm doing good, but I hope you get better soon, mate. COVID must suck. I've never had COVID myself, but it must suck. <clears throat> For three iPads now, fix now, drinking a cup. And nice. Very nice. I can shout now and it won't clip. 
So I can speak as loud as I want like this and it won't clip and it won't distort. Yay! Because I finally set up the uh, audio properly. <laughs> Get some zilch back on your pizza. <laughs> I feel sick because I need food. Yeah, get a pizza if you want a pizza. Audio's nice. Should be, mate. Yeah, thank you. How's that annoying bass doing it? Oh, the annoying bass. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Look, it's without batteries, thank God. How much did you pay that thing? What thing, mate? I think it might be better. Nah. <laughs> no audio filters in the world that can... Uh, I can fix that, mate. Daz Nicholas, how's it going, guys? Lee, how's it going? Laid up with a chest infection. Oh, that sucks. Why is everyone getting sick? Pulled that 34, 34 10 out and put it on charge. First time in 15 years and it charged up. Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is a trust mic, mate. It's that £50 one. Can you please do a PS2 slim to fix? Uh, you, may, uh, you may be onto something there, mate. Let's, uh, let me just show you some of the recent purchases on eBay. Uh, purchase history. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on, mouse. Why is my why does my DPI keep changing? Anyway, we've got a switch there, which uh, you'll all see in a minute. Got an unpatched Nintendo Switch on the way. We've got a PS2 Slim on the way. We've got a Sega Game Gear on the way. We've got another Sega Game Gear on the way. Got a Sega Game Gear charger, blah blah blah, boring. Sega Game Gear game, boring. A couple of faulty MacBook boards, well, three of them to be precise. An iPhone 7, an Xbox One S, a Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. All right! And a vintage wearable headset. And some vintage headphones. Yeah, so I've got some variety coming up. I've got some variety coming up. Do you need a cap list for the game gear? Um, I've actually, well, I'm waiting for Uber Micro Repairs to get back to me. I've bought a big batch, a big uh, job lot of stuff off him for 60 quid. Uh, spare stuff for the um, game gear. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Haunted Coachman, how's it going, mate? Uh, let's see. For 50 quid and it owns the road. It doesn't. The road is good. It's just so it keeps playing up. I've had two fail on me. Um, but I didn't have the audio set up properly. So, yeah. Phil's video reminded me I had one. Nice. Micro Mage. How's it going, mate? Mr. Micro Mage. I hope the videos are treating you well, mate. Hopefully you're getting some recognition from the uh, algorithm. Everyone check out Micro Mage Repair, exclamation point micro, if you want to check his channel out. Uh, ever pick, fix the PS Vita? No, I haven't. Mickey was going to be mine. Nope, it was mine. Nope, he tended at four in the morning. You're going to be on it. You're going to be on it. Lower treble or something. Um, maybe. Maybe a little bit. Cheers, Jaden. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. Yeah, Michael Major's channel's in the comments. In the, uh, not the comments, the um, the chat. Uh, yeah, that 3310 was gone. It was <laughs> no chance. I enjoy doing repairs, Stephen. Yeah, I enjoy doing repairs. Slow but steady growth. Awesome, man. So that's the way to be, really. I mean, there's one person who's really impressing me lately, and that's um, the, the, the Stez Six Fix. Stez is really impressing me with his growth lately, but he, even he knows he's going to come crashing down, and he's going to stop getting um, crazy amounts of subscribers. He does. He tappers to everyone eventually. Mm -hmm. 
one day the algorithm just picks you up and it just well not everyone but one day the algorithm just picks people up and it just sends shit loads of people to his channel to the channel and i think it's awesome man which is growing um yeah stezzy's blowing up yeah stezzy's gone insane yeah steve is too funny he is he's a, and he's a genuinely nice guy as well and i really do i really do like him and um yeah i'm really excited that he's blowing up he's a fish Batteries are dead, thankfully. <laughs> Phil, baby, show me some love. <laughs> Addy, how's it going, mate? Do you buy working consoles? I don't, mate. I'll never buy any working consoles. Uh, you're welcome to post it on Discord, though. Uh, obviously, any sales and any sales on Discord, people have to use the due diligence, and um, you know, I don't, I don't get it. Obviously, if someone scammed someone, I'd ban them. But that's as far as I would go in getting involved. Um, but you're welcome to use Discord if you want to see if anyone wants to buy it on there. Post it in the for sale section. If you want some watching while I work. Nice. Nice. As long as you get your work done. <laughs> Remember Travis did it. Yeah, I couldn't find the cup so I got my merch. I got my merch cup instead. Oh man, that's nice. Oi oi, Savile Oil. Oh, Billy Bass not done your heading. Oh, he did, mate, until the batteries died. And then I told Sarah I ain't buying anymore. Ever. You look back and Vince will ever finish his role voice. Yeah, I reckon he'll do it, yeah. I might be doing um, a video soon, doing the... Like, just doing the brakes and stuff on my car. Uh, but I've been planning that for months. Do you buy graphics cards at a forte? I don't, mate, no. Um, eBay will be your best bet for that. I don't have any experience in fixing them. Talking of graphics cards, I am, for the next three weeks, going to be running a little bit of a donation goal. So anyone who uses the tips on um, Stream Elements, like the tip the tip link, anyone who uses the tip link is going to go towards a new streaming computer, which I'm going to be buying. And in fact, I'm going to be buying some in a minute for it. What car you got? A Vauxhall Astra, mate. Nothing, nothing impressive. Um... Did you fix that PS4? Uh, which one, mate? The Slim? You mean that one there? Yes. The Slim that I couldn't get the display on? Yeah, that's done. Just waiting for the invoice to be paid. <clears throat> but yeah, all done. Ready to go. Good evening from Spain. Hello. Order some rechargeable batteries and charge off eBay for it. I will kill you. Me and you are going to fall out. Hey, Nando. Nando number nine just subscribed on Twitch. It's Nando number nine, you dumbass. Stupid bot. <sighs> can't get the staff. Just can't get the staff. Switch with blue screen repairable. Mm, sometimes. Uh, it depends how bad. It's always repairable. It just depends how bad it is. Um, it's either usually the CPU or the RAM that's at fault. But it depends if there's any damage traces under the BGA. Thank you, Andrew. Hello to you and your son, mate. I appreciate you. Uh, I appreciate you. I appreciate you hanging out, mate. Thank you, buddy. Uh, yeah, always ram or CPU. Got to keep Cody entertained. No, he's got other toys for that, and he can have this fucking Mickey Mouse if I fix it. All right. The fish is going. The fish is being flushed. What's on the cards tonight? We have. A PS4 Pro that CEX couldn't or wouldn't fix. Play some Bob Marley. Nope. <laughs> do I have a repair shop? I don't have a repair shop. I work from home in my loft, but I do offer repair services. <clears throat> I don't work from a shop. I do work from home. Can anyone notice anything different about the desk? Mohand, how's it going, mate? I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'll buy the fish for minus £10. Well, I've got to pay you. <laughs> Does anyone see anything different with the desk? How do we get the details? Type in exclamation point repair, all one word. So, so an exclamation symbol and then repair straight after it. New mat. Nope. Stu got it. It's got buttons. No one cares about your green buttons. Yes, they do, Danny. These buttons are awesome, all right? 
These buttons are fucking awesome. Leave my buttons alone. Only Travis knows how to press my buttons. Only Travis knows how to press my buttons. Green switches. So these are for these. Hey! Ian Bates tipped six dollars. Thank you, Ian. The ball rolling. Start the ball rolling. Thank you for the donor, mate. That's all going to go towards the new computer rig. So I really appreciate that, mate. Thank you. You showed that short earlier, too. <laughs> yeah, so these are for these two cables. So if we go into voltage mode, this is the IEC cable. That's obviously which, the one I'm going to be using in a minute. But if we go to AC voltage, you see we've got no voltage, we've got 0 0.4 volts. Check this out. Bam. Boom. Oh yeah. Isolate that. No volts. Bam. Boom. Oh yeah. So now I can isolate them if I'm working on something like a power supply or something. Or if I just need to test it and make sure my cable's still working so I don't accidentally electrocute myself. Only 238 volts. Uh, yeah, that's a bit low. It was 242 earlier, but there's a lot of stuff being used in the house right now. Um, so yeah, Mr. Jamie, how's it going, buddy? But I do plan to put some more switches there for my other test cables. But what I'm also going to be putting is I'm going to be buying some modules. And the modules are going to have stuff like HDMI cables, um, USB-C cables and things like that. And the modules are basically extensions, but they're on like a socket. Um, and I can get a four bay and put it just there. Just, just, out, out, just out of view of the camera. I can put it just there. Just buy the switches and have I'm gonna have two HDMI ports and two USB C ports. The USB C ports are gonna to go to the chargers, so this will be one of them, and then the other one will be um just one that I can randomly charge devices. Um or I might have it connected up to the dock um and then just run this cable from it. And the other one is gonna going to be the hdmi cables are going to be one for my test cable going to the capture card and then one for um the microscope so i might actually put it this side so i haven't got to trail the microscope as far um <clears throat> so yeah that voltage is really good yeah um we've allowed i think it's 11.5 percent voltage drop in the uk and most of the time i'm seeing 240 to 242 volts is that the change? Uh, there is an ESD mat. I do have another mat. Like this is a this is an actual ESD mat. This is grounded, and then I've got another mat here as well. If the ports face up, it may get random solder balls and stuff falling. Uh, possibly, yeah, that is possible. You thought this out? Yeah, I'm gonna sink it. So is it? It's just better for cable management. That's all. You know, like these cables here, they're connected. Basically, what I've done is I've cut some holes in the desk, and then I've just drilled a hole through the other side. Uh, through the bottom and the cables come up through the desk into the switch and then back out the switch back out the desk and then just up to the top here um it works and it means i can switch them on and off as well it's quick access as well 252 volts at a place that has a pv installation is that what it is in is it you're in belgium in yeah should be using an isolation transformer i have they're selected they're connected up to a rcd switch uh, and so an RCD socket. Uh, so they they are isolated. If I get any shorts at all, then have yeah, I got hairs in here? If I get any sh any shorts at all, then I'm going to end up. Uh, it's going to end up blowing the RCD on the plug only, not on um, not on the uh, not the old, not the whole house. I've got random hairs in here, but I ain't I ain't cleaning it. I'm still drinking it. You could get some recovers, yeah. Furry coffee, yep. Frame drop on Twitch, yeah. It's dropping a few frames. Virgin Media has been really bad lately. I have got a few consoles 
which are coming in, which have been um, subject to lightning strikes, and they went down the Virgin Media lines. So they are having a few network issues. Technically, I think it is pubic hairs because I've just had a shave. So, but it'll be facial hair, not pubic hairs. <laughs> oh dear. <clears throat> anyway, let's get to a repair. So, this has been sent in by a business and it's been somewhere special. Now, I know you all like unrepaired PS4s from CEX. So this one will probably make a video, and if it does, then it is being live streamed. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll do this live. I've never done this live. This is going to be funny. Let's get the thumbnail. There you go. What we're we going to do for the thumbnail? Where we're we going to get the thumbnail? Focus, you prick. There you go. There's the thumbnail. <laughs> That's how I get my thumbnails. That's genuinely how I get my thumbnails. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. So if you're watching this back as a video, this has been sent by another business to me. The customer sent it to that business, but they sent it to CEX first. Anyone that don't know, CEX is basically a second-hand shop in the UK. And they apparently offer repairs. So, the reason I say offer repairs is because they literally do power supply swaps, disk drive swaps, and cleaning. But they claim to do all sorts of stuff. They claim to do micro soldering, they claim to do advanced diagnostics. Let's have a look at their website actually for repairs. Let's find the website. This is going to be funny. Alright, let's have a look at what they actually say on the website for repairs. <coughs> So it says, let's zoom in. So it says, CEX doesn't just buy, sell and exchange, but we now repair too. Simply bring your broken device to one of our selected CEX stores across the UK or visit our dedicated repairs website, book it in and our team of experts will bring it back to life. If they can't, there's no fee. Hmm. Book it in online goes straight back to their website. I think it's called WeCare. CEX Clinic, they've changed it. All right. So they've apparently got a live counter. The audio is going to go a bit quiet because I'm moving away from the mic a little bit. But... Uh, 300,000 reviews on Trustpilot. Really? Yeah, this the reviews are... They're not, that's not even repair reviews. Come on. Always a great service, fast delivery. Wrong! Takes seven days just to deliver something. As an artist, I was looking for a monitor for my GoPro camera so I could see what the camera above me was filming. And it was not until I saw CEX was selling a Remevu R1 Plus at a great price. In fact, I ordered it straight away and it arrived to me within a few days. And it was well packed and very quick in sending it to me. So I am very pleased. Thank you, CEX. Piss posh. Ho, 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 ho. Shut up. Order was cancelled. Hmm. There's no reviews about repairs on here. 
five stars, the item was the worst in the category. Hmm. The return and refund process was easy and fast, so I was happy. All right then. <sighs> but these are just reviews from today. What the hell? I sent four items, but they sent two back. Really? <laughs> Let's have a look at some negative reviews. I like ripping in, I love ripping into CEX. Hate that company, man. Great watch, but battery only lasts today. Product doesn't work. Still awaiting payment. Received phone, it needed charging, as was dead when charged. SIM card tray was snapped. Stop me putting SIM in. All right, now you can't, you can't blame a company for sending a phone dead. Hey. Sounds like the kitten's just got trips over on. Mm. There's no, there's not even any reviews about repairs. Come on, stop lying, CEX. Yeah, you might have a lot of customers, but there's no reviews about repairs there. All right, let's see what you offer. Or can we repair? Game console repairs from fifty-two pounds. Let's have a look in here. Sony, let's see what they offer on the PS4 Pro. That's relevant, right? Not reading discs, DVD drive, HDMI port, startup issues, power supply issues, any other issue. So that would indicate that they offer advanced repairs. Um, apparently, they are, apparently they repair the blue light of death. Hmm. All right then. Well, all right then. We'll see. I'm bored now. All right, let's see what you guys are saying before I actually get to work. Sixty-one thousand consoles fixed. Yeah, and hundred twenty-eight thousand not fixed. That review was a CEX worker. God, who have been? God, who have been? Pip pip tally ho. <laughs> they didn't fix it, but they were so nice, I'll give them a good review. <laughs> oh dear. Do I repair motherboards? Uh, what motherboard, mate? Take one look and think, nah, yeah. Put some IPA in your coffee to clean it. <laughs> Cash generator just as bad. Uh, yeah, but they don't offer repairs. How's it going, Sai? Thank you, uh, Eddie. I appreciate that, mate. You'll get used to it, don't worry. Send a blood PS4 to CEX. Send send a blood PS4 to CEX and see if you end up getting sent that console. Uh, nah. <clears throat> I can't drink coffee with milk. <laughs> Time to relax with a cup of before bed. Gigabyte Z590 Ultra. Probably not, mate, because I don't think I'd be able to. I don't think I'd be able to. Um, get the parts for it to be honest give you a tennis store credit jesus buy for 50p sell for 60 pence yep sounds about right how's it going Archie? i hope you're feeling better mate right anyway mm-hmm Pip pip tally ho. Some of the pins are bad. Yeah, I probably wouldn't be able to get a socket for it. I'm assuming you mean the uh, pins inside. I like the pins on the CPU socket. Right, so. 
this has apparently come from CEX then, and they apparently offer blue light to death repairs and parasupply repairs. And jolly good Cheryl, chap. What are the symptoms? I don't know, this is the first time I'm taking it out of the packet, mate. Uh, so this is how that comes from CEX when they get unrepaired. If you go into a CEX store and look on the shelves behind the counter, you'll probably see a few of these. This has been dropped or bashed around, and these get wrapped in bubble wrap when they um, no. come from me. Yeah. Triple A. Yeah. No. What no. for? Do malt, cold for the kids are molten, you've got about 30 miles. No, I haven't got any. Okay. Um, got any? I? Okay. All right. <clears throat> Gamer PS, thank you for becoming a channel sponsor, mate. I appreciate that, thank you, bud. Right, so I don't know the symptoms of this, but this is how they come from CEX. They come in a packet. I have melted the name, uh, so I've I've kind of well, I tried to use the heat gun, didn't work, so I just ended up using uh, the soldering iron and scraping the name off. Didn't have a pen to hand, and I'm lazy. So yeah, so they come like this. They come with two stickers. They come with the information for the serial number and stuff like that, and the job reference, and then it says unrepaired. So, yeah, and that's how they come. So I don't know the symptoms. Let's find out. Love pressing that button. Can you think about it and respond next stream? Um, I'd have to try and find a, a what do you call it, a socket for it, mate. Can you DM me on Discord um, or email me? Voice sounds stuffy a bit. No, I'm all right. I'm all right. To be honest, I've been doing a lot of videos the past few days. I've been filming a lot. Oh, it's a rough one. Typical. Right, so this has apparently got no power, according to the ticket. <coughs> so there's the ticket. And apparently it's got no power. By the way, you may realise I did delist the last stream. And the reason for that is because I did accidentally dox a customer. My apologies to that customer. Um, yeah. So I had to delist the stream. Uh, right, so. That's a two second blood. So number one is being reported wrong. Number two, that's a two second blood. Well, that's going to be fun. But yeah, as J-Boy just said, the fixed blue light of deaths. They are to the power feed, mate, yes. So apparently CEX fixed the blue light of death on the PS4, but this one's a blue light of death. And I haven't fixed it. Now, the funny thing is, there is a chance that I might not be able to fix it. But, but, it's going to be hilarious if I do. So, let's try, shall we? Let's at least give it a try. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> Have they even been inside here? Well, the warranty sticker's gone. All right, that's fair enough. The warranty sticker is missing. Let me just grab a couple of screwdrivers. We're gonna need a Phillips and a T8. There we go, what's with this barcode? Thank you, Youth Morning. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you, buddy. 
CF won't buy in consoles with missing warranty stickers, but then they do repairs that destroy the warranty sticker. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, that's another thing with CEX. They won't buy a console without a warranty sticker, but they will take in repairs and take the warranty sticker off. So, yeah, basically they say, well, your console needs to be overheating. I mean, bear in mind, these was these are how many years old now? These PS4 Pros are, what, five years old? So they're basically saying, right, your console needs to be overheating because it's five years old. So, but unless he's got no, unless he's got the original warranty sticker, we're not buying it. And that's pretty much the end of it. So they're basically saying, right, we want your faulty console. But yeah, I mean, I know I shit on CEX, but I do understand that these kind of repairs, like blue light of death, this type of repair is difficult. It's not always easy at least I opened it yeah one like the last one yeah I do appreciate that this type of repair like a two second blood it's not going to be something that everyone can do or at least not without sufficient training so I do appreciate that and I do understand that I hate these clips on the PS4 Pro. Hate them with a passion. Yep. CEX are a bunch of uh, bunch of assholes, especially CEX at top management. Right. Well, it doesn't look like they've gone much further than just opening this. They might have possibly just tried a power supply, but that's going to be as far as they've gone on this one. I would imagine. I should have a pair of supply to test this. How's it going, Chris? So yeah, I should have a pair of supply to at least try this. People just buy the warranty stickers off eBay and sell them. Yeah. Do you do Xbox Elite Control Repairs? I don't, mate, but if you search with someone called Uber Micro Repairs on YouTube, um, then, you know, you can... Uh, he's more than happy to do it for you. Um, I don't personally offer him because I can't get reliable sources for the parts and I can't really make it viable for the time I spend. Right, okay. That is a replacement power supply, by the way. That is not the original. Whether that's the customers... Actually, I don't know. Unless well, CEX have put that on there. Hmm. Not sure. But let me find a replacement PSU. So that's going to be fun. Actually, I know where there is one. And I know it works as well. Here's a PSU inside here. This console was given to me by a very generous viewer called CG. I'm going to be trying to fix this one in an upcoming video. I haven't actually attempted a repair on it yet, but I have turned it on just to see what the issue is. And it's a long pulsing blue light of death. But the power supply should work. Or well, the power supply does work. And it is the same model as this one. So, yay me for being organised and knowing where shit is. So, so a, so a two-second blood on the PS4 Pro. It's not likely going to be the power supply because the console does attempt to turn back on. But it could be. So, I am going to try it at least. But I know this power supply works. Let's have a look. 
Nope. It's still two second blood. Alright, so it is a little bit more complex than it normally would be. Could it be RAM? Not likely, no. It's normally a 12 volt short. But then it can also be um, a 1.8 volt short as well, I think. So let's carry on taking it apart. Not likely going to be the safe bridge. The safe bridge normally ca causes a six second blue light of death. I was kind of hoping it would be the safe bridge and uh, that it would have been an no power, but eh. So this is a problem with customers though, is they describe things wrong because people in general like normal customers, not to, I'm not hating on them by the way, I'm just saying normal customers, they're not technically minded, so a two second blue light of death and a complete no power are one and the same to a customer. Like that's no offence to any customer, it's just true. People don't know how to word things. Like people don't know the difference between the two issues because to them it's just not turning on. Thank you, Stevie. Any way to flashback firmware to 9? No, mate. Not as far as I'm aware, no. Just, honestly, just wait a little while. Um, don't update and just wait a little while. Another jailbreak will come out. Are you self-educated? I am, yes. Um, I learned most of the stuff that I know off YouTube videos. I've never come across that uh, dream. Never come across it being the safe bridge. I'll just say it's busted. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, Learn Electronics Repair has got a great channel on YouTube, yeah. Recommend checking him out, definitely. What's wrong with this one? It's a two second blue light of death, mate. Right, where... Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, so this is the 46GG. Alright, so first thing I'm going to check then is the APU. These RAM ICs look like they've got pretty warm at one point. That is relevant. And the reason that's relevant is because that means at some point this has been running very hot and that can cause solar balls to end up getting cracked. So what I'm going to do, I should have a coin in my pocket. I do, excellent. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pop a coin on top of there and then I'm going to put the clamp back on I'm not going to use a pen coin because that's too thick a pen coin is a little bit too thick when's the fish revisit? Uh, soon mate, soon let's use a 50 pence there we go 
and then I'm going to put the heatsink back on. And the reason I'm going to do this is because this is going to add a little bit of extra pressure. And this is what we call the pressure test. So the pressure test is basically where we put more pressure onto the APU and see if it attempts to turn on. A lot of the time on the Pro this doesn't work. Are you night dude? You work in the night. Um, I live stream at night because I've got kids, yeah. Um, it's difficult to stream in the day. I have too much to do in the day. That pulls me away from work, so yeah. All right, so there's some extra pressure. Another pressure. Let's get get down on me. Hate these connectors when they're not when they don't end up being shaped. Wait, what the? Hate those connectors. Have you ever repaired an Amiga? No. Right, let's see if he wants to pair it on with a bit of extra pressure. No. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Any plans on modding the fish with Alexa? Nah. Could be the power chip. Um, I've never known it to be the power management chip, no. Um, not personally. Um, I don't do recapping, mate. The best person to speak to for that is someone called New Retro Repair. Um, he's on YouTube. Dan from New Retro Repair, absolutely great guy, and he's, he'll be more than happy to help you out. Right, okay, so... The board's going to come out, then. Thank you, Serious Stuff, I appreciate that, mate. Yeah, so the board's going to come out. Why I didn't take the power supply out on, never know. Cheers, Jaden. There's a link to new retro repairs channel in the live chat. Always happy to recommend someone else. Yeah, yeah. If I if I'm if I'm not offering it as a service, I don't see why I shouldn't recommend someone else so they can make some money. Um, it helps the customer and the tech. So I've got no problem with it. Right, okay, so I'm going to pop under the scope. I'm going to do a few tests, but there's not really many tests you can do for the two-second blue light of death. So let's just get rid of this thermal pasta. Because I'm going to be inspecting the APU as well. That looks to, <clears throat> that looks to me like factory thermal pasta. I believe they use some close to MX4. Probably is MX4. Trying to see a PS4 lately, been doing tons of PS4s and Switches. Yeah, I'm not seeing many older generations at the minute. All right, let's uh, let's pop under the microscope, see what's going on. 
I'm going to reset it because it crashed again. Still waiting for Haye to send me a new one, but they reckon it's been stuck at customs. Yet I've asked for tracking and they haven't responded. So, yeah, not sure what to think. I'll just get rid of this. That's not needed. Uh, where on earth is my microscope ring light cable? There it is. And it's under pressure. Is MX4 any good? Yeah. Eric's 4 is awesome. Fix my first PS4 Pro HDMI port work when finished. Nice. Awesome, man. Have you knowledge or been interested in understanding the logic programming of the chips? No, I'm not really into that kind of stuff, mate. I don't really follow um, software stuff. How's it going, Motto? Welcome, buddy. <coughs> Do you have a liquid metal PS4s? I can, yeah. I can. I can do a liquid metal mod on a PS4. Um, in all honesty, though, with how long it takes to sort out these caps and stuff, I'd probably be charging, you know, £50 for liquid metal. Right, I'm just going to get this in focus for me. There we go. Yeah, I'd probably be charging £50 just to do that. Because I'd, have, I'd, have, I'd basically have to coat all of this in liquid metal to to be able to um, keep it safe. Uh, sorry, in um, not in liquid metal, in uh, conformal coating or uh, nail varnish to keep it safe, prevent it from leaking and shorting. Like the entire APU would need to be covered and the surrounding area as well. <coughs> You know, I'll varnish them. Um, normally, like a, a lot of the times, I do. Um, a lot of the times, I do use conformal coating because it, I just find it's a lot better. But yeah, if I was doing a liquid metal mod, I would like I would offer a liquid metal mod, but I would have to charge like fifty pound to make it worth it, um, just because of the time and the cost of liquid metal as well. Right, so looking around the APU, I'm not seeing any kind of cracks or anything like that. Sometimes you can end up with a cracked APU. I'm not seeing anything like that. Let's test around the APU itself. So there's certain tests we can do. Like this one, for example, there's a cap here on the right hand side. And I can test that in resistance mode. <coughs> so, black probe on ground. And we've got 145 ohms. I don't know if that's normal. I don't think it is. Let me have a look on another board. Let's have a look on a donor board. It may be normal. I'll get 130 arms on that donor. Let's have a look at another one. Just to double check. This one's a bit of a mess, but I can check it anyway. I won't worry about focus. I just want to double check and uh, check on a few boards. The problem is these are donors, so I don't know why they're donors. 
I'll get 194 ohms. Oh, whoops. 194 ohms on this board. That one is a bit higher. Let's find another one. I'll check one more. Well, I've actually got one here that I do know. Uh, the APU is not dead on this one. That's actually lower resistance. That's 80 ohms. But there is no south bridge on this one. Have you ever tried to get a donor working? I do sometimes, yeah. I do sometimes. Uh, yeah, okay, so I'm getting roughly the same reading, so maybe that's good. Um, I don't know. My PS5 did disc version thinks the power button is constantly pressed. I wanted to ask if you know which capacitors on the motherboard are causing this problem. I don't, unfortunately, mate, no. How's it going, Mike? How you doing, buddy? Uh, liquid metal will eat aluminium heat sinks, yes, but the PS4 Pro does have a solid copper core, so um, it's fine. Thinking about delidding my 8700K. Um, I've never done it. I've never done it. What are you streaming days? I know Friday for sure. It's Friday and Monday, mate, yeah. Um, Friday and Monday, and then if I feel like it in the week, you know, I'll just randomly go live sometimes. What was that? Anonymous tipped $13.37. Tip for new PC. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that, mate. That will all go towards the new build. Genuinely appreciate that. Oh, I said I was going to buy something live, didn't I? Um... I'll, uh, I'll buy something for the new PC live later on, definitely. Um, I am building uh, a new gaming rig. Uh, not gaming rig. It's not. It's not for gaming. It's for. Um, it's for streaming. The, this PC has a big issue with it, and I don't know what. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a new PC. Um, then I'm going to turn this one back into a server and use it for storage. And my gaming laptop, I'm going to sell. Oh, thank you, Victor. I appreciate that, mate. Thank you, mate. Victor said that was me with the donation, I assume. So I'm on PS5. is bricked. No, it's not bricked. I wouldn't say that. It's just that I just don't know which which is which on that. I've lived in the Midlands for years, but that sounded like a Midlands accent. It is, mate. Wolverhampton. Oh, look, I've got a banter. I've got a banter bot. I've got a bot to ban on Twitch. Yay! Yay! I've got a banter bot on Twitch. Yunk. I'm going to be streaming the build. Yes, that is the plan, mate. Yes. <clears throat> that is the plan. Um, so I will very likely stream the build. How much you want for the laptop? Uh, probably going to be looking about 600 for it, mate. Probably about 600. Um, I'm going to be going AMD. It's going to be a 5950X. Do you fix controllers? I oh, don't, mate. Um, check out YouTube and look for someone called Uber Micro Repairs. Um, he specialises in controllers and he's definitely your man for the job. A bot to ban or ban to bot. <laughs> Used to go out with the last one, Redditch, many years ago. Nice. Redditch is pretty close to not not being Midlands, though. Nice processor choice. Yeah. I'll offer 559 free. <laughs> 59999. No, 600, not a penny less. 
No, I am open to offers. If anyone wants to know the spec on it, it is fairly high spec. If anyone wants to know the spec on it, just DM me on Discord. Um, but yeah, I am going to be selling my gaming laptop because I don't need it. Um, I paid 950 for it and I've never gamed on it. <clears throat> I've never gamed on it. What's that noise in the back? Um, what noise? You hearing people talking? Or a background noise? There shouldn't be any background noise. Like for Zen 4. I really can't, mate. I need one ASAP, to be honest. So, yeah. All of the donations are going to be... Um... Oh, I'm grabbing a cigarette, by the way. Um, all of the donations are going to be... Like all the donations I go through PayPal, I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to be save leaving in PayPal. I'll ask people for more donations. No, don't do that, mate. Honestly, if people want to donate, they can donate. But, um, but other than that, I mean, I appreciate people's help and support, and it is going to be an expensive endeavour because, you know, I do, I do need it for making videos and stuff. But either way, I'm going to be buying it. Um. I'll probably end up putting a lot of it on a credit card, though. Thank you, Mike. Mike Biddle became a member. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate that. Welcome to the members members club. Hope you're enjoying life. I am, mate. Thank you. I hope you are. I hope you are as well. Um, sounds like someone watching you. Watching two. Um, not sure, mate. I'll give you my kids for your laptop this evening, you know, just so I'm getting the better deal. <laughs> Can Wayne build you a laptop? Um, no, I mean, I need I need a PC because I use way too many inputs, and plus I've got... I'm running five capture cards. I'm running five capture cards. I need a PC. Just recently giving up smoking after 33 years. Mate, that's awesome. I really do need to give up myself. Nodded off till I heard bot. <laughs> is your PayPal linked? Yeah, um, yeah, the PayPal is linked, mate. There's a link in the video description to the tips page. Um, and it all goes towards uh, the build. Oh, yeah, Sarah's watching something on her phone, yeah. What do I use right now? The spec of this are. Uh, let me go to my main desktop. Uh, the spec of this, as you can see, I'm running out of space. Well, I mean, I've got a terabyte there, but yeah. Um, it's an uh, Intel Xeon E5 2630, uh, 64 gig RAM. Uh, 500 gig M.2, one terabyte external, uh, but I have got a couple of one terabyte M.2s. Um, but the CPU is uh, it's 10 core 20 threads, and it is an NVIDIA Quadro P4000. The P4000 I'll probably sell once I've got a new GPU. Um, but basically this is a survey, it's not designed really for streaming and it's just, it's just giving me so much jip, giving me so many problems. Hey, Dunzod! Dunzod, you just resubscribed for three months. Thank In you. it, Coda, D. Thank you, mate. But this isn't the one I'm selling, I'm going to be putting a cheap ass graphics card in this and using it as an actual server. Year since I logged on here, had to sub, had to just to sub to you on both platforms, and more the better. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you and welcome. It's went to your PayPal link. It said four hundred four page not found. Um, it should be in the description, mate, where it says send a tip on stream. Um, time for a NAS build. I'm going to be using this one. This one I'm using right now. Um, because I use it as a server build. Started around 16, now 44 and still smoking. Yeah, I started at 12 and I'm 32, 33. Wish I could have that P4000. You can, if you bite it. <laughs> uh, this is a PS4 Pro, yeah. Uh, right, should we get back to the task at hand? Because I'm just waffling on at the minute. Um, 
Confirm the PayPal link is broken. Um, I will fix that at some point. Uh, you can type in exclamation point dono. What would you ask for it? Probably like three hundred pounds, I think. Any news on the switch light I sent you? Okay, the good luck mate one. Some of the parts are missing for that mate. Ghost eighty two, you just subscribed on Twitch. It's that that switch isn't complete, mate. Um, and I don't actually know what's wrong with it. I can have a look at it once I've had a look at this one. Um, but there's some parts missing to it, and I don't actually know what's wrong with it. Ghost UK, thank you for subscribing on Twitch, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you. But yeah, the the dono link on the live chat on YouTube works. Um, oh, it should. Yep, yeah, it does. Damn, 433 viewers. Welcome, everyone. But yeah, that um, that dono link, as you can see up the top, it says uh, like up uh, where where is it? There, it says exclamation point dono, um, and you'll uh, you'll be able to what do you call it? Um, be able to see the donation link on that. I don't mind if people don't. I'm still going to be buying the PC. Just it would it does help. So how much was that? I can't see. Twenty five dollars. Twenty five dollars and twenty one cents for the new PC in the coming video of the pro <laughs> I send you. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. CG is very generous. I've just used the well. I'll just use the power supply to test this one. Um, CG is very generous. He sends me a lot of broken consoles to basically keep, which is awesome, and I really do appreciate it. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. You're gonna raid it? Uh, very likely. Yeah, I'm very likely gonna be putting my two one terabyte M dot twos in it and just going raid zero, and then going for nightly backups on the server. Uh, the server I'll run in RAID 5 and then use uh, off-site backup as well. But, um, yeah, I'll most likely do incremental backups on the server and also go RAID 0 on the SSDs just in case. <coughs> Which one can I use where we will get all that I donate? Um, the one for exclamation point donation, mate. Uh, exma sorry, exclamation point dono. Uh, so super chats don't count towards it. Sam mods tipped two dollars and fifteen cents. Love the stream and help. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Scary raid. Nah, not if you're taking nightly backups. Um, it'll be set to automatic. Yeah, exclamation point dono. They don't take any commission, which is great. Um, that's why I mean super chats. Super chats. I don't even see for like a month and a half as well. Um, and also super chats to take 30% which sucks super chats is absolutely shocking um, I would like to go um, I don't think is it parity for raid 5 I don't think it's mirrored is it um, I'll, I'll go striped on the SSDs just to give me 2 terabytes of um, SSD storage that would be awesome that would be awesome. Having two terabytes of SSD storage would be insane. Uh, right, let's do a few tests. I'm going to start scanning around the board just to try and find some random issues. So I'm going to check around the encoder. Actually, let's go for dial. I'll go for dial mode because it's a lot quicker and I can scan quicker. <coughs> 0 0.681, cool. 0 0.658. Let's check pin. Damn it. Okay, pin 19 to open line for some reason. Doing that on SSD is bad. Um, why does it decrease the lifespan? lifespan? To be fair, I don't have to. Why have I got open line on pin 19? That's a bit weird. Or am I just not giving a connection? Damn it. 
I've broken the advice that I'll give to everyone else, and I was checking it in uh, with the uh, red probe on the input. 0 0.571, that's better. 0 0.533. Uh, I'm sh I can't even see this, it's too far away for me. SSDs go a lot quicker than hard drives, which means that you're going to have a much higher likelihood of data loss. Um, yeah, but I'm not really going to be doing many writes to it because it's a streaming PC. Um, and taking nightly backups, it's going to be, it's, it's, it should be absolutely fine. 0.573 on pin 16. Pin 15 does cause a blue light of death if you get a short there. Um, 0.571, okay. Pin 14 is not connected. Pin 13.452. 484. We're going to skip that one because it's ground. 0.475. 462. 462 462 462 462 462 okay yeah they, they all seem fine do you think they should build into the consoles a way of system testing like they have on cars now where you plug a cold reader in and you get the fault well it, it would be nice but Nah, they're never going to do that. <clears throat> I think the gain is minimal and generates too much wear. Um, yeah, but your write speeds are going to be twice as fast. And your read speeds as well. Hey, Dunzod. Dunzod, you just subscribed on Twitch. Dunzod converted from a Prime to a Tier 1. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, dude. Mucho gracias. Um... Right, yeah, so encoder's good. Uh, it's generally only going to be pin 15. What causes um, a blue light of death? Let's just check some of these caps down here. How's it going, Aid? And Reese as well, welcome. Already taken on the last one first, selling new consoles. Uh, yeah, but it would be nice to see a bit better repairability, wouldn't it? I mean, we're never going to see it, let's face it, but, um, yeah, hmm, I'm getting 0 0.000, I'm getting dead short on these caps. Yeah, I'm getting dead short on these caps. I don't think I should be reading as in, like, absolute stone cold dead short. I could be wrong. Well, I guess they are. Hmm. I didn't think they were meant to read dead short. Hey! Claw slug tipped four dollars and twenty one cents. Thank you, Claw. I appreciate that, mate. One eye on Love Island and the other one here. Oh dear. You've just lost my respect if you watch Love Island. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking, mate. You watch what you want to watch. Oh, I can't watch it, though. I can't watch all of that fake acting. Well, fake overacting bullshit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, 0 0.431 on that MOSFET. 0 0.023 on that one. Is that normal? I don't know. Let me check on Aladona. Uh, or maybe not, because that's a long donut. What are we? We've got an MVG003. Uh, that's an NVA. <coughs> MVG002, that's the same circuit. Um, yeah, low impedance. Uh, I believe that is actually something to do with the CPU. Uh, £183 for a Gen 4 M.2 right now. Jesus. Is that the new ones, is it? That's a lot of money. That's an awful lot of money. 
Yeah, so I'm. I mean, so far I haven't, I haven't done much, but so far I'm not finding much. Fire shots. Fire shots. Super shattered. Ninety nine cents. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you for the super chat. Or super sticker, actually, rather. Point four seven six. There. All right. Uh, Zero point zero twenty six. That's going to be another low impedance. Uh, yeah, so I haven't done that much testing, but it is. I mean, there's not really much that's showing up so far. Well, there's not anything showing up so far actually. Point three twenty five. Point six thirty five. Point six forty six, point five eighty four. <laughs> Waiting for the multimeter to ping just so you can say, "Shut up, multimeter." <laughs> Thank you, fire shots, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, mate. Um, yeah, so I'm just testing random areas here, really. Well, ideally, I need to be testing around power management for the APU, but. Yeah, I mean, five one five. That's a disused pin, I think. Can't get a connection from the right hand. Five twenty two. Three eighty. That's ground, I think. Yeah, I think it is all leading to uh, the APU, to be honest. Let's test around the south bridge. So, the other side of the board around here. All of these caps here are directly connected to the south bridge. Let's just test around the south bridge and see if we find anything in, the, in this area. 0.176 God damn it Fuck Well That didn't work did it <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll grab one off a donut Don't worry Don't worry I'll grab one off a donut Point one seven six. Whoopsie. <laughs> that was uh, <clears throat> unintentional. <laughs> Happens to all of us. I'm sure we've all been there. And if you haven't, well, you will be. One day. <laughs> hey. Steve Dealey tipped $6.87 to help you to get your new PC bug. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Cheers, Steve. Right, where be my solver? Come out, come out, wherever you are. There you are. Missed it by getting coffee, mate. <laughs> Just thinking you were hitting a little hard. Yeah, I need to find my find my um, replacement probe needles out, to be honest. It's all good. Definitely not the first time I've done it, let's put it that way. It don't matter. I can. Whoops. I can just replace it. It's not the end of the world. I do need to find the right board though, because the South Bridge design is a little bit different. I don't really want to put an inductor where a cap's meant to be. 
because that would be rather silly. Um, yep. There we go. That will do. Jim and Bobby just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that, mate. Right then, now that's fixed, <laughs> can carry on diagnosing. Moonstone, how's it going mate? 367 watching and only 149 like you, people are savage. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to like the stream, it does help me out. Like nothing ever happened, no, you'll never know. I have just realised uh, one thing. Oh, I forgot to bring isopropyl alcohol up with me. That was rather silly. Oh well, it's going to have to wait. How's it going, Andy? Uh, let me just uh, let me just make sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, oh no, I didn't finish testing in this area, did I? <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm just going to be testing random places around here. 0.242, video evidence. Nah, I'll just delete the stream. Ha! <laughs> Nah, I'm not afraid of showing mistakes because we all do them. We all make mistakes, so... I'm not giving any reading on that one. It says open line. Or is that just a ground? Why am I not giving a reading there? It starts to get a reading, then it just comes up open line. Unless it's um, the other side, the other side of a circuit, and it passes through this way so what this could be a protection diode it could be it could be there to to so it could be this could be the input it could want to go that way through the diode and then travel onwards uh, so i'll come from here up here and down and around here um, and then this diode's acting as a protection diode to prevent back feeding that is possible let's just have a look on a donor and just double check that because i am giving a read in the other side of that diode yeah, so I do get a, a reading and then it instantly says no and just um, shuts down, stops it doing it. All right, that's fine. Yeah. So it looks like that is used as a protection diode. And it just prevents current from flowing in one way. Mm. Yeah, I think I can sit here testing these all day and it's just going to give me the same. The same thing. I think uh, I think it's definitely the APU, to be honest. Um, I, I'm not seeing any signs of anything you learn from mistake. You do indeed. I'm not seeing any signs of any. Um, any damaged components or anything like that 
let's have a look at the RAM. Let's look for any signs of burn marks on the RAM. Kane, thank you, mate. Kane tipped ten dollars. Keep up the good work, you prick. Ha ha. <laughs> thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. You prick. <laughs> no refunds for insults. <laughs> no, I appreciate that, mate. Thank you. Yeah, so I'm not seeing any any signs of burn marks anywhere. No visual signs of any damage, so I think it is leading to it being uh, the APU, to be honest. Very unlikely it's going to be the PWMIC. That TV radio really hinders because I tried to hear what it said. Um, I can turn my volume down. Or I could just mute. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do yeah, I'll turn my volume down because Sarah Mong's have it's too loud as well. There you go. I should still be able to... to uh, hear it yeah so um it's very unlikely it's going to be this pmic because this pmic when this fails it usually ends up with no power so i'm testing in dialogue mode just i'm just looking for some weird readings Yeah, I'm not seeing any obvious signs. Seven miles too loud. Is, it, is that why? Tra is Travis there? <laughs> Your mic is nice. Thank you, mate. <clears throat> I've I've modified the filters a little bit today. <coughs> so many PS5s is failing early. It pains me, but cheers me up. I didn't buy one. <laughs> well, I got mine cheap as well. So yeah. Uh, right, okay, so I'm not getting any weird readings anywhere at all. Um, not seeing any signs of any damaged components. That's flux from the factory. Uh, I'm going to say this is probably going to be a contact issue on the APU, to be honest. Let's just test the USB ports. No one expected noise with the new mics. Yeah. Damn it, I've done it again. Hey, phone repair. Upgraded your membership to True Love. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Thank you, dude. I did it again. I swapped the leads around like a dick. So if I see any odd readings, I'll I'll say something. But everything here is leading towards it being an APU issue. Uh, yeah, everything's leading to it being an APU issue. So I think let's just see what let's just see what we get on this power button just really quickly and see if we actually get a good diode reading on the power button 0.527 yeah would you please look at the bottom row um what do you mean this area here i mean these are just mosfets for the um USB ports. 0 0.559. 0 0.559, yeah. 
some short some short on state on stage uh, yes well not really a short uh, before that um, I'm not sure where you mean mate um, yeah so what it's doing is it's detecting a problem not necessarily a short but it's detecting a problem and shutting down um, so it could be that the 12 volt line is not activating because of a contact issue it could be it, well, it could be any um, contact issue, really. When you say, dear, this video, is it unavailable? I would like to watch again my Halo Xbox attempt. Um, it is, it's not unavailable, it's just unlisted, it's private. Um, I mean, you've already watched the stream, so if you DM me, I'll send you a private link later. The reason I've had to delist it is because I've, um, I accidentally doxed the customer. How's it going, beeps? Yeah, so this is a two second blue light of death. Um, but yeah, I'm not seeing, I'm not finding anything at all. I'm not finding nothing. Not finding a damn thing. So I think it is most likely going to be an APU issue. I don't think I have a stencil for this. No, I don't. It's a CXD 9055. I do not have a stencil for this. So I can attempt to reflow, but I have not got this stencil, so I cannot reball this. Uh, but I can attempt to reflow. Uh, no, I don't think it shows up as uh, present. Of the same camera as me on your microscope. Yeah, but this one, I need my 4K camera. So I need them to hurry up and replace it. Um, so hey, here is supposed to be sending me one of... Oops. One of these things as a replacement. Um, but yeah, this one just don't work at all. Um, it's just not showing up anything on, like, it'll turn on, but it's just not showing anything up on the HDMI. Cracked APU ball. Very possible, yeah. Very possible. Uh, very likely, even. I did see some signs of excess heat around the, um, RAM. So, it's very likely that it's overheated and it could have caused it to crack the solder balls. It's fairly common, actually. Uh, yeah, so that should be on, that should be displaying there when it's not. Uh, as you can see, I'm using the same HDMI cable I've just used on the other microscope, and it's not outputting. So, yeah. Just not outputting anything. I could potentially use one to fix two because I've got another board so I could potentially try and fix um, this one with the other well the other one with this one because I've got one with a bad CPU this is the second one that's failed let me just set my BGA machine up bear with me a second <clears throat> because that is a mess Oh, and it's also not plugged in.
Right, there we go. So that's set up. <clears throat> I haven't seen you at Lewis streams. I've been. Oh, you're talking to someone else. I was going to say I've been a little bit busy. Um, I don't watch his random streams a lot of the time. Um, right, so I am going to attempt a reflow on this just because I do feel like it's probably going to be an issue with damaged solder balls. So what a reflow will do is it will basically just reform all of the solder joints underneath the APU. The problem is that's too big. The chip is far too big to be able to do it with a um, hot air station. So we have to use a specialist machine called a BGA rework station. So if we add some flux in a nice line all the way around, like so, Then we can drop that on the BGA machine. So you'll have to put it with my ugly mug. Yes, it's a mess on there. I am still working on uh, trying to sort out the workshop. So the workshop is a bit messy at the minute. I say a bit, it's a lot messy, but oh well. So, pop that on there. Line it up centre. And then just hit start. So what that's doing now is it's running through a set profile. It's a predetermined profile or a predefined profile to basically heat up the entire board first and get the board nice and warm with even heat and then the top plate will kick in when the board hits around about 200 degrees celsius and it should it should reflow it nicely without damaging it uh, i've stopped selling it Jaden, at the minute mate i want popcorn of apu i don't want a popcorn in the apu man you have some cool machinery yeah, i've had this for a while that bga machine it's expensive it's an expensive machine, but it's worth it. It's paid for itself 10 times over. I mean, I paid, after I, after I covered fuel and replacing the top plate, I probably covered about, I probably, probably ended up paying about 600, but I got that as a bargain. Your electric bill must be mad. Yep, <laughs> they're expensive. That's, um, I can't remember how, much, how many watts this is. I'm sure it's like, I'm sure it's like 2000 watts. Let me have a look. It's just borderline for a 13 amp fuse. Which is why it's running on its own circuit. Um, let's have a look. Twenty four hundred watts total. Two thousand watt bottom heater and four hundred watt top heater. But my top heater is modified, it's a German top heater. So it's better quality. Take electric from street lights. <laughs> He's worked off rig to his, his neighbour's power. Oh I wish. Trial and error, mate, yes. IR six thousand it looks like. No, it's the actually IR Pro SC. There's a massive difference, mate. Um, well, I would say massive, but it's 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 enough of a difference. Uh, this is the higher end to the uh, sixty five hundred. Why on that cable melt? Uh, no, nah, it's fine. <clears throat> hey, there's a prediction on Twitch. 
There we go. Um, yeah, so I've left the battery on it as well, and that won't that won't blow up either. I can promise you that. Preheated, so board reaches 180. Where do you find the 157 figure? Uh, who mentioned 157, mate? Um, if you look at that, I mean, I've got mine. If you look at those numbers, I've got mine set so as it's um, so as it's set to stop at 220. Um, hopefully, you can read that. It might be a little bit blurred. And it's on auto focus, so I can't help, unfortunately. Um, but if you look at that, it's set to stop at two twenty on that bottom plate. The bottom plate is the second, the second clock. It's set to stop at two twenty and hold there. The top plate should kick in, which is going to be the left hand dial where the buttons are, and that should kick in right around the time it hits two hundred and twenty degrees Celsius. <coughs> Just don't find me being a mod is my only job in life. <laughs> Sorry, I'm taking over your chat. Nah, you're not. You're all good. So, yeah, the um, the top plate should fire up around about... With the settings I've basically figured out, it should fire up around about exactly the right time. The... Current temperature in the workshop is 23 degrees. Um, well, it says 24 now because it's... Um, it says 24 now because it's obviously starting to warm up in that area. So the thermal couplers are adjusting. Um, that's only really accurate when the machine's not running and not hot um, in terms of room temperature. But it detected that the room was at around about 23 degrees Celsius. There you go, look. See that? That's about to kick in. Look at that. Right around the time it got to 220, it literally the settings are dialed in so tightly that I really just don't need to do anything with it because I've got the settings dialed pretty spot on. They're pretty spot on um, for around about 20 to 25 degrees Celsius room temperature. So, yeah, that's trial and error over the past two years. Trial and error over the last two years. The amount of times I've had to adjust those settings to get them right is unreal. Um, sometimes you do end up where your room temperature is a little bit higher. Like, I mean, sometimes I'll come in this workshop and it's 35 degrees Celsius. Um, so, yeah, sometimes I do have to adjust it and stuff, but... For the most part, I mean, I can publish these settings online. And if your temperature, if you've got the same top plates, the same bottom plates as me, because my bottom plates are stock, my bottom plates are standard, but my top plate is an Alstone plate, and it's um, a German-made plate, really high quality. So that machine is modified. Um, and I can publish those settings if you want them, but you'll still have to adjust them a little bit because it's going to be machine-independent. Uh, machine uh, but so you would still have to mess with them. Why can't you reflow manually? Um, the chip is just far too big. Dave underscore Roland's just subscribed on Twitch. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that, buddy. Have you got any fish in tonight's episode? No. You can always pause the profile if needed. Yeah. Um, you could stop the profile and stuff, yeah. Alstein plates are nice. They are. They're expensive, though. They're not cheap. <laughs> they're not cheap at all. Um, but they are pretty much the best plate you're ever going to get, to be honest. Um, I was thinking of getting Elstein bottom plates, but if I do upgrade the bottom plates, I'll probably buy a new top plate at the same time, so it's all fresh. But the good thing about these is you can spend a couple hundred pounds every, you know, two to three, four years or whatever. Um, and, like, it'll last you for them three, four years, and you'll make your money back. Like, they're well worth... They agree. They're they're well worth the uh, the price for definite. If you're doing it full time, they're, they're worth buying. Two densely packed balls. Uh, no, it's just that the chip is just far too big. Um, like you can't get enough heat in that general area using hot air, unfortunately. I mean, you could use this video as a reference and get your timings off just off the video. 
I've got the 6500. A lot of people have got that. I've, I've heard it's, it's okay, but it's not... It's not like professional grade, I think. Um, but I've heard it's a decent machine for the price. I mean, they cost, what, 400, 450 pounds? Uh, whereas this machine is like almost three times the price. Um, you get a great warranty from Alstone too. Um, yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't even know where my warranty info is for this, to be honest. I wouldn't even claim on the warranty. Not, not I mean, I've had it nearly two years. Um, I've had the I've had the plate nearly two years. I could tell you exactly when I bought it. I could search through WhatsApp and find out when I bought that Elstone plate. PlayStation is smoking. It actually is smoking, yeah. But it's fine. It's meant to be. That's just flux burning. Don't worry about that. But yeah, if I had a stencil, I'd rather reball the PS4 Pro, but I don't have a stencil for it, so. Sadly, it's got to be reflow only. I need to buy one. I need to buy that f that 55 stencil because I haven't got one at all. I've never had one. Because I don't really get many PS4 Pros with a 2 second blood. It's usually a 6 second or uh, lung pulsing. You can get replacement parts from Yeah, you can pretty much buy everything for these. You can pretty much buy everything. You can maintain these. And if you maintain these, they'll last forever. They'll last forever. Right, let me go over there now because that's getting close. Generally, when it's on about 180, 190 degrees Celsius, the chip's going to be ready. <clears throat> we are starting to get bubbling flux. It's not quite ready. So I'm basically just giving the chip a bit of a tap, just so as I can check to see when the solar balls are all reflowed. We're on 180 degrees. I hope you can hear me. And yep, yeah, that's done. So I can just lift that away. Make sure you lift these up before you move them because there is a there is a couple of prongs there. And yes, I have crashed into them prongs with that top plate and just sent everything flying and ended up having to replace boards. So yeah, make sure you replace them top plates. Uh, make sure you lift that top plate up before you swing it out. But yeah, all I'll do is just swing it out, leave it there. Uh, that'll cool down. I can put the cooling switch on the um, top fan, cool that down quicker. And that will also pull the smoke away as well. <coughs> cool. Literally. Ow. Sorry, my bad. I crashed into the mic. Feels an amazing cook. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, but basically now this um, this number here, I'm looking for that number to drop down to about 140 before I put the bottom fans on. So there's a fan here. You can just about make it out when it refocuses in a minute. There's a fan just here, and I can blast air across the board. But I'm not going to be doing that until it's cooled down a bit. Hey, Cam's here. How's it going, buddy? Long time no see, Cam. How's things, mate? Should get metal plates behind the rework station for safety. That is true, but no, nah, it doesn't get that hot behind there. Though that foam that's behind there. By the way, that's, that's my cigarette smoke. You can see there. That foam that's behind there. There's not even a slight bit of melting on there. Um. I have, but I did monitor it for the first couple of weeks. Yeah, I'm good, thanks, Cam. Is this a temp fix or a good long term? I get around about 5% return rate on these. About 5% return rate I get. Not a lot at all. Even with just reflows, about 5% return rate. Very rare they come back. 
Frank, how's it going, buddy? Temp on the right is... Yes, the temp on the right is the bottom centre. So there's a thermal couple... There's a thermal coupler in the um, in the middle of the bottom four plates. So there's four plates on the bottom, and there's a thermal couple in between them. Uh, so that's what that's picking up. It's very smoky in here right now. My cigarette smoke don't help. Why do you need a new streaming PC? I think there's a bad ground somewhere on the board, and I don't have the experience to diagnose it. Um, there's a lot of issues, like I'll get network issues, I mean I've dropped 889 frames to that, frames today. Um, I'll get networking issues, audio issues, um, just random crap and it's just really, really annoying. Um, and plus, very, very soon I'm going to be going back to filming in 4K so I need the uh, extra power. I am going to need the extra power. Lung cancer, anyone? Yeah. Yes, indeed. I do need to get an extractor sorted in here. But we're close to being able to cool it down with the fans. Ever set anything on fire? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's caught fire once. That's why I do have a rule. I do not leave it unattended. Um, look, when that's on, you don't leave it unattended ever. Because if a little bit of computer booter actually did this on stream a little bit of flux dropped onto the bottom plate and instantly the entire board caught fire uh, very unlikely to be the ram on a two second blob mate they are acoustic tiles yeah um it's not for soundproofing it's more for same treatment but also at the same time the kid's bedroom is just behind there but obviously downstairs because i'm in my loft uh but the kid's bedroom is that side of the loft so i don't really want them to hear me working at night sort of thing No worries, Chris. Have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out, mate. I appreciate that. Speaking of boot, speaking of booter, glad he's back on YouTube. Yeah, and once this stream ends, um, the the stream will automatically forward to computer booter stream. So if you do stay till the end and then you want to watch more, computer booter will should still be live by the time I finish. Send me the settings. I could I could send you the settings for this, but it might be different if you've got sixty five hundred. I'll have to write them down. Um, I'll tell you what, I'll write them down tomorrow. And um, <clears throat> I'll write them all down tomorrow because I haven't got much to do tomorrow. So I'll write them all down tomorrow and I'll uh, I'll get it all get it all written down and just post them somewhere. How sketchy are your loft ladders? Oh, very sketchy. <laughs> I'll let him out of YouTube jail. Yeah. Hey, Rob Burns here. Where's it going, mate? Uh, right, that's cooled down enough. Let me just cool it down manually now. Still too hot. Right, that's cool enough to move. There we go. Ow. It's still hot though. But yeah, that's cool enough to move. They have a YouTube jail. Uh, no, nah, they're just, well, sort of. They can get banned. Computer booter got banned for, um... Computer computer booter got banned for uh, playing Bob Marley on a stream. Any use for you an iPhone 7 water damage board? Possibly, mate. I've just bought an iPhone 7, yeah. Possibly. Um, right, let me just give this an inspection. 
I'll tell you what, I'll inspect it under the microscope. I'll show you what it looks like now. Uh, so let me just grab my cables. I have to unplug them because I don't like them trailing across the desk. So I have to unplug the cables. Do 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 do. Yeah, I don't like the cables for the uh, scope trailing across the desk, so I do unplug them when I'm not using the camera. Right, that will come on in a second. So I'll inspect this under the scope, make sure there's no popcorn in or anything like that. Um, unfortunately, I don't know what that says, RGH, but um, I'll try and convert it in a minute. Um, yeah, so what you would look for here is any signs of any solder ball squeezing out the side. So we've got flux around here, which isn't a problem. Um, I haven't got any isopropyl alcohol up here. I need to go and grab a fresh bottle. But what you look for here is any signs of any solder ball squeezing out from around the edge which I'm not seeing a little bit of gunk and thermal paste around but not an issue uh, yeah no so we've got no solder ball squeezage and the APU hasn't popcorned which is great so hopefully that's gonna work hopefully but there is a chance it won't. I'd look for bubbles. Um, yeah, bubbles in the chip, yeah. Um, that's what I call popcorning. So, like, when the... Um, when the layer, when it starts to de-layer or delaminate the chip. I think it's actually called delamination, but... Yeah. Um, <coughs> right, I do need to go and get some isopropyl alcohol. So, now is a perfect time. To get a fresh cup of coffee. It is 50-50 chance. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much. Right. Don't go anywhere. I'll be back in a minute. And then we'll find out if it works. Because I need some IPA to be able to clean this up. Walker super shattered two dollars and fifty one cents. Thank you, Ralph. Just caught that,
Right, here we go. Right, so I've got a fresh bottle there and a half bottle here. So that will do. That should be enough. Perfect timing. Um, I have just missed something because I did, I did hear something. I did hear a notification. Ellis member for five months. Nice. Thank you, dude. Grant one ninety nine. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so what I need to do now is just warm this back up because it's gone cold. Five police, two ambulances, damn. Real men drink IPA. Right, so I need to warm this back up because the flux is cold and dry and sticky. So it's going to be difficult to clean off. So I'm just going to warm up around the edges. My name's not Ralph. Yeah, I don't know why I said Ralph. I just noticed that. Thank you, Grant. I appreciate that, mate. <coughs> so I wasn't doing any kind of reflowing or anything there. I was just warming that flux up. It sounded like Ralph. I was halfway down the stairs, so my apologies there, mate. Really sorry. I'm getting a bit of a sore throat, to be honest. I think I need a break from sh from uh, filming. <coughs> <clears throat> but I've got about five videos in the bag from yesterday, so yeah, should be all right to take a few break, a few days break from from filming anything after today. Because my throat is killing me. Thank you, uh, PC. But yeah, my throat is getting pretty bad. It does take its toll on you when you're filming and stuff. Like, it really, does take its. Like, I'm not ill. I'm not. I'm not sick. Don't don't think I am. Um, I'm not sick, but my throat is getting a little bit sore. Oh, I definitely come on sink. Not tonight. My throat's too sore for it, mate. <coughs> yeah. I am getting a sore throat. I did film quite a lot of videos yesterday. Like I was I was literally like Sunday's my filming day. I film a lot of videos on Sundays. Um 116 here in Moscow and I need to wake up for, at work for 7. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, no worries, mate. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate that. Sucking too much cock. Yeah, you caught me. <laughs> My cats can sleep. See that? Instantly, a little bit of a drink and instantly my throat sounded a little bit better. I had a sore throat last week and I ended up being ill. No, it's just it's just the amount of filming I've been doing, mate, honestly. I did like seven hours of constant filming yesterday. How do I send the iPhone to you? Um, DM me on dis Ugh. DM me on Discord, mate, and I'll send you my address. If that's alright. Um, yeah, so I need to wait for that to cool down. I really do need a drink. Have I got any water up here? I think so. Yep, it's about two days old, but fuck it. It's a cigarette. It's actually not, mate. It's really not. I've been smoking for God knows how many years. It's just that every weekend I get a sore throat. Yeah, got some water. There you go. My, vo my voice will sound a lot better now. Hello. Mike, check, check, check. Hello. Hello. 
It's me. <clears throat> there you go. Uh, that's a little bit better. I guess I should probably go and get some water from downstairs. Um, I'll get that later though. I've got coffee for now, so I'm all right. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> so yeah, my throat is definitely getting sore. But I'm not sick. I'm not ill. Don't worry about that. Um, it literally is just the repair-a-thon from yesterday from, well, video-thon more than anything. Uh, did a lot of filming yesterday and it just takes its toll. Right, this is never going to work without applying the best damn thermal pasta that money can buy. And this one's all fucking mine. Alright. PS4 problems. <laughs> I like that. <clears throat> I like that. I always spread out the thermal paste on a PS4 Pro. Same as on an Xbox One X, I always spread it out manually. It's just because of the size of the APU. Hey Lex, thank you mate. Ding. Oi, notification. I said notification, thank you. Lex Linux super chatted six dollars and thirty cents. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is just MX4. I'll just put it in there as a meme. <laughs> it was literally just for a meme, but it's MX4. <clears throat> so I've got two tubs of MX4 in there. Um, it's this stuff. So yeah, it's that stuff that's in there. Um, actually, I have got better thermal paste, but customers don't get it. Sorry, too expensive. Yeah, that's my own personal supply. Customers are not getting that. I love when it's spreaded. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah I've got SYY157 which is 15.7 watts per meters Kelvin of thermal conductivity which is a lot better it's about twice as good as uh, MX4 I believe MX4 is 8 point something or something like that GD900 uh, I've never heard of that never heard of that one I'll have to look into that uh, where is my other screw? Where's my other screw gone? It's on the floor. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Is it like Thermal Grizzly? Um, I don't know. I've never tried Thermal Grizzly. I think Vladimir is used in a VPN. Are they? Should I buy MX4 or MX5? MX4. MX5 is too runny. Honestly, all this stuff that's going on in Ukraine, I don't blame the Russians. There's only one person to blame for it. And it's not the Russian people. It's not the Russian people. Right.
But yeah, there's only one person that's to blame for it. And his name's Shit. His name's literally got the word poo in it. Ha. It's not one person, it's the entire government. He is the entire government, like, whoops. He is the entire government, mate. I've never heard of that thermal paste uh, enzyme. Yeah, the thing is, he controls the government. What he says goes. And until he's taken out of government, you're never going to get change. You'd have to lunatic near a big red button and they're going to press it. That's, that's pretty much all there is to it. Putin needs to hurry up and die. Well, I can't really say that. I've got my thoughts. Unfortunately, I can't share them. Tim foot of pook. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, I have to keep my opinions to myself. Which sucks. Damn it. It could head, it could head, in that, uh, head that way, uh, Mike. Better keeping that shit out of here. Yes, exactly. I'll keep them thoughts in my head. I've never tried Arctic Silver, mate. I've tried MX4, MX5, Sci-5-10, High-5-10. And that's pretty much it, I think. But I'll just use what works. And what works for me is M MX4. Hope the reball works, hopefully. I'll be a member next month. Thank you, mate. I appreciate that. One thing I will say is my content will never be behind a paywall. I do put early access for some videos, but it gets released within a day or two. <coughs> so, look, like channel members, Patreon sponsors, all of that good stuff. Um, they do get to see some videos early, but they always get released within a day or two. Because I've usually got at least three, three videos for each week anyway. I'd love to get back to a daily schedule, but... Because well, there was a spate of around about two months where I was literally uploading a video every single day. Is an Arctic Silver conductive? I don't know. Right, so I'm putting these back together because I don't th really think there's much more I can do on this. I do believe it's the APU, but unfortunately, like I said, I don't have a stencil. So even if it does need a reball, it's not something I can do today. Um, I, the only thing I could really do is contact the customer and say, you know, you're more than welcome to send it back in a couple of weeks and I can order a stencil. But that's pretty much all I can do in this one. Apart from offering them a board swap. Um, and then I've got to find a working board. So, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> right. Let's put the... Torx bits in. Or the Torx screws, rather. Uh, one second actually, let me put the power supply in because then I can just carry on with the torques instead of stopping again. Because there's certain screws which go through to the power supply. And that is the customer's power supply. What have I missed from the start of the stream? No, a lot really. Um, just well, I've done a bit of testing on the board, and then reflowed it. 
uh, reflow the IPU because I believe it's an IPU fault. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is the only one I've worked on so far. <coughs> Damn it. What's a stencil? It's, yeah, exactly, a thin sheet of metal with holes to put solder paste on it. Uh, that thing I used to scrape the um, solder paste, the um, thermal paste over was a stencil. That was a PS4 Southbridge stencil. But yeah, there's two stencils I need to order. There's the CXD 9055GB and there's the PS5 APU stencil. I've ordered the PS5 Safebridge stencil, that's on the way. Uh, actually, I might already have it here, I don't know. But I need to order the APU stencil. Damn it, you motherfucker. I've got the thing trapped. There you go. There you go. See me use solder balls and a BGI. Um, yeah, that's for reboarding. Usually I would reboard. Um, I just don't have the energy to do a manual reboard on an APU. Um, and because I haven't got the stencil, it would have to be a manual reboard. Um, the customer's not going to pay for it anyway. Um, if I was doing a manual reboard on an IP, you would be charging somewhere in the region of, a, of about a grand, to be honest, because it takes that long. <coughs> um, the last APU swap I did, I charged 1500. That was successful. It was a successful repair, which was fantastic. But I basically transferred the APU to another board for data recovery. Where do you buy your stencils? Uh, AliExpress, mate. And yeah, you can get them for iPhones normally as well. What's that metal part for? Uh, that's for grounding. Um... It's to ground the, oh, well, I believe it's to ground the APU, uh, the, the motherboard to the power supply, I think. Um, because you've got metal contact under there, uh, metal ground points, um, or rather solder points, which are ground. Um, and I think it's to ground everything together. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it is. Right. Hot herbal tea for your voice. Uh, now, I've got a bit of a sore throat, but that's just... Um, it, I, I went on a bit of a film-a-thon yesterday. Like, I was recording a lot of videos. I think I got like five videos yesterday. Um, three of them was PS5. Two of them from the same technician with the same technician damage. So, they're going to be interesting for this week. <coughs> One of them will be out tomorrow, by the way. I missed a screw. Um, it's Sarah from a trip. Yeah, she's all right. She's got a bit of a, a bruised arm. She said she ended up down the bottom. But she didn't tell me that on the night. She said she just slipped down the stairs. And then the next day she's told me that she actually ended up all the way down. About eight or nine steps. So I was pretty annoyed with her for not telling me. Because I would have stopped streaming if I'd have known she'd have gone all the way down. Did it end up working? Not tested yet, mate. It's just that I've, I've just put it back together fully because I don't think there's anything else I can do to this tonight. Um, if it doesn't work. So I've just put it all back together now just for simplicity. And if it works, it works. And if it don't, then gutty, but not a lot I can do. <coughs> 
So yeah, I'll just put it all fully back together. No concussion. Uh, no, she was fine. Um, just a bruised arm, that was all. Yeah, Union Repair do sell stencils. Um, but if you want them and you don't mind waiting a few weeks, then AliExpress is gonna, always going to be your cheapest option. Right. No, nope, it's not working. And I've left one of them ribbons unplugged, but oh well, fuck it. Yeah, I forgot a ribbon, yeah. Don't worry. It's not working anyway, so it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not going to take it back off. Do you do tutoring at all? Um, Not at the minute, but I was going to... I was thinking about offering it, but I need to get... I need to drum up enough interest first and be able to find the time. 3600X and 3060Ti for your new PC. Uh, no, I'm going higher than that, mate. Well, I'm probably going to go with a 3060Ti, but I'm going to go for a 5950X, mate. The capacity, you mean? Yes, I did put it back on, mate, yeah. Yeah, so that was sadly unsuccessful. I did leave a ribbon out for the disk drive, but never mind. <clears throat> uh, yeah, it is what it is. You know, there's not a lot I can do. My soldering needs help, or might be my iron. Um, I mean, I can offer two to him, but I haven't got time at the minute. Uh, and the problem is, realistically, for tutoring, you need to do in-person stuff. <clears throat> What's next? Uh, I'm not sure. I think a Nintendo Switch Lite. I think. Uh, but first, I'm going to go on eBay. Uh, let's get. Oh my god, apparently I've got messages. Oh, I was just saying something's been posted. Yeah. Um, PSV next, no. Maybe I have an open day or something. I'm not sure. Nice T bone. Uh, right, let me just submit another offer on this. Uh, review offer, there you go. Boom. Sent. Right. <coughs> Where's a little slut Travis? Probably hiding somewhere. Right, before I do anything else, let's just uh, buy something on eBay for the new build. What case do you guys reckon I should go, go for? Let me know what case you... Send me some suggestions for a case. Because I'm going to be building this on um, on a live stream. So, send me some suggestions for a case. What bench power supply do you use? Um, I use two. I've got an, I've got a a Rockseed RS three hundred five P, which is one that I can hook up to the PC, but I just haven't had a chance to reset it up. Uh, for a new PC build, uh, Scoot, and um, then I've also got an RS, a Rockseed RS three hundred five D, which is my main triple power supply. Yeah, I'm not going. I'm not going to go for a H. 510 I've had one of them before in fact I scrapped one last week uh, well a couple of months ago 
Oh, I'm gonna go AI hey, oh, oh, cool to Daz. AI hey, oh, oh, cool. Um Let's have a look for Corsair. Open that one in a new window. So the H510 is a decent case, but it's it's not the greatest. Not really. <clears throat> one thing I have already got is a thousand watt power supply. Nah, no test bench, no. Too dusty for that. Uh, a case for a PC scooter. Um, a cardboard box. Eclipse P600S. Let's have a look at that. Uh... Oh, it's a bit expensive. Yeah, that's a bit pricey to be honest. Uh, R11 dynamic PC case. Be quiet 500D. I'll have a look at that one in a second as well. Oh wow, that's too big. Um, it's a bit wide although that is nice in white that is nice but yeah that looks a bit big pricey as well though be quiet 500d That's not a bad price. It's quite a nice case. Plenty of room. Decent cable management. Uh, yeah, that's not a bad case. I'll put that on the maybe pile. Oh, we've got USB-C front I.O. on that. What's the, what's the front I.O. on this one? Is there any? Yeah, USB 3.1. Hmm. Tempting. Tempting. I do like that in white. <coughs> Let's have a look at the... Let's have a look at the DX. Oh, that is the DX. Oh, okay. That's quite nice. Uh, that's quite a nice case. A fish tank and mineral water. H five ten or too small. Mm. H one hundred I for I I R. I think I've had one of them before, and the pump failed on it. Is it Gen two or one? Uh, what do you mean, mate? 
most PC cases don't have decent airflow. Yeah. I have a fractal hanging out. I like fractal designs cases, but they are pricey. Eclipse P360X. Is that another Lian Lee one? <clears throat> oh, Fantex. Mm. So ideally, I want a white one. I like white cases for some reason. Yeah, it's not got enough front I/O for me, mate. Um, I'd rather have the USB-C. I'll be honest. That be quiet case comes with three top quality fans as well. Good value for money. Oh, nice! I didn't know that. Oh yeah, three fans. Yeah, you could put them in the front, I suppose. And then just buy one more fan. Um, right, let's have a look, see if we can get a better price than that. So that one is £93.83. Ideally, I want the white one. So you got e boy but nah. e boy are a scam. I wouldn't buy anything from them. Okay, yeah, so I think they're either literally going to be the best price. Um, let's have a look. Don't worry about my address being shown. That is fine. Uh, where was that voucher code that I saw? Here is 10. Code invalid. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Tell you what. Um... No, I can't load next because it'll show my card number. Uh, all right. I'll buy that. <clears throat> I'll buy that. I like that. E boy, okay. No, they're a scam. They're a scam. I'm not a fan of Leanne Lee, to be honest. Stay away from Thermotake, worst company ever. Why? Why is, why is Thermotake the worst? Uh, I'm not a fan of that O11D acids, I'll be honest, mate. H710i for airflow and USB-C. Yeah, why do you think Thermotake are bad? Please keep what private, mate. My address? No, my address is my address is public anyway. Don't worry. <clears throat> Wait, what? Why is he copying all of that? H seven ten. Mm, nah, it's the same as that's basically the H five ten, mate. To be honest, that's basically the five ten. It's the five ten with alloy wheels. That that's pretty much what that is. Uh, I do like that. I do like that be quiet pure base one. I am a fan of that be quiet one. No, they don't get the fucking chat. They don't get the money. Yeah, I am a fan of that Be Quiet one. I might do a charity stream one day. Um, type in exclamation point Discord. 
how much do you charge to work on the APU? Um, normally for reballs, I charge 65. From the same town. Nice, welcome, mate. Right, let me just enable my card. One moment. Uh... <coughs> right. Shop online. Pay it all now. Right, I'm going to use Zilch for this. And uh, I'm going to earn some rewards. So watch this. So I'm going to use this. You can't see my card number, don't worry. Um, I'm going to use Zilch. I'm going to get 2% on 2% back on that. So I'm going to enable my card. You watch it not let it go through now because it doesn't let... Um, it hasn't been letting transactions go through for some reason. Let's... Uh, Let's just pay for this. So, confirm and pay. Hopefully that goes through. There we go. Yay, you'd have to let it go through. Good. Alright, so now, if I go... There you go, zilch. Thank you for your purchase. Cool. Um, so if I go... Finish shopping. Boom. I got 188 back. Hey. <laughs> and now I've got 444 pound in rewards. Check that out. Now watch this. This is going to be awesome. Check this out. I'm going to go shopping store. Shopping store again. Pay it all now. Continue and I'm going to discount my next. Oh, hang on, that that went for Google Pay. Hang on, uh, online pay it all now. I'm going to discount my next purchase. Look at that, it's going to discount up to £444.81 off my next purchase. <clears throat> is it free? Uh, yes, it is. Um, but it's only UK, mate. Nectar points are poo. Nectar points are not poo. Nectar points are not poo. Nectar points give you free money, mate. Right, so enable card. So that's enable for one more transaction. Um, and it's going to discount up to £444. Uh, is it a credit card? No. What this does, it gives you a virtual number. So I can, I can expose that number, but I'm not stupid. I'm not going to expose the number. But what it does is it gives you a card number... As you'd have just seen on eBay, I used that card number ending in 6002. And basically, um, it takes it directly from my bank. No, I'm not buying a new monitor. Uh, I don't need one. I'm not wasting money on that. So it'll take the money from my bank. Um, it'll bounce off Zilch, but give me 2% cash back in Zilch. That's why now I can discount my next £444. It doesn't have to be one transaction. But, you know that app, app is sending me data and information. I don't care, it gives me free money. Watch this. I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a 5950X for free. I'm going to get a 5950X for free. Brand spanking new, £440. Let's see if we can get a better price on used. Um... Don't buy this, by the way. It's a fucking ornament and it's a scam. Do not buy this. Uh, 380, 389.99. 369.99. Right, I will check feedback and make sure they're genuine sellers. 459. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, that, that's going to be the cheapest prices. Let's have a look. Well, we're not going to buy off this guy, are we? He's got no feedback. Well, we're not going to buy off this guy, are we? He's got no feedback. They are fucking scams. So I guess... It's going to be... 
We've got one for 430 here. Uh, no, this guy's an arsehole. I'm not buying this. Like, this guy's a fucking arsehole. I sent him an offer and he declined it and started being a fucking dick. So, no, I'm not buying it. I don't care if it's cheaper than the other one. I'm not buying it. This guy's a cunt. He started being a dick just because I sent him an offer. Like, I sent him a 300... Bear in mind, I sent this guy a £350 offer on a used processor that's retailing brand fucking new for... £440 from a reputable seller. And he started being a fucking arsehole. So, that guy can fuck himself. I'm not paying what he wants. I'm going to pay £10 more and buy it new. Fuck him. Sent a message. No worries, I'll check it later, mate. White for AMD's new chips. Nah, I need it now, mate. <clears throat> I'm looking for... This one, 5950X. So, yeah, fuck that guy. Right, let me see if that code works now. Here is 10. Please give me 10% off this. Come on. Oh, you prick. Why does it give you discount codes if you can't use them? You dick. Anyway, I will get nearly a fiver back in Nectar Points. Zilch. Oh no, what? It's rejected my fucking payment. It's 440 and I've got enough in there. I'm trying to use my fucking discount. Don't be a dick. The funny thing is, I, I, I could pay for that on a debit card. Why is it declining that payment? It's not a funds issue. That's wrong. It's not a funds issue. Oh shit, you can't even see. You just dropped a C bomb. Oh, I did. Indeed, I did. Uh, that's declining the payment. Why are you declining my fucking payment? You're taking the piss. I need a new processor on the 2700X at the moment. We can't see what you're seeing. Yeah, I'll just realise that, mate. Um, it's, it's saying... It's saying that we declined the payment. But when I try and do it on Zilch, I don't understand why, because I'm trying to use my rewards, and there's more than that in rewards. But I've got more than that in just rewards, so I don't understand why it's declining it. But you know what, actually, I don't think I want to do that in rewards anyway, because that's a big purchase, and if you have to refund stuff, you don't get it back. You don't get rewards back if you have to do uh, refund. Um, but I don't understand why it's reje rejecting it. It's a bit strange. <coughs> no, I haven't read the terms and conditions. We ought not to see your phone. Ah, don't worry about it. It's all right. Uh, the discount should be 10%. I don't understand why it's rejecting it, bro, because... Um, yeah. There's more than that in... Thing. I think I think that's a security issue. It's not... Because it was coming up that it was rejecting funds. Um, it's, it was coming up that there wasn't enough. I know there is. Look, I know I've got money in the bank, but that's not. He shouldn't have even tried to take any out of the bank for that. So I don't know why that's not working. Capital letters. What do you mean? Part payment and part rewards. No. Uh, I'll tell you what I can try doing. If I just try. Um, right, what am I going to need for this? I've got a power supply. Um, AIL cooler. Um, what's the case? Is the case um, a double? It's a two, isn't it? This case. Is this case that I've bought a two? 
Is it one bay or two bay? I don't know. That's a double radiator, isn't it? That's a double red, right? There's a white 3070 for 450. Uh, I don't think I want to go 3070. Alright, what's wrong with that? Works fine, can chuck in a fan as well. I am full socket, aren't they? Why is that only a tenner? Oh, it's rusty as fuck. Yeah, that's rusty to hell. What the hell? Not addressable RGB, 3 pin, it's 4 pin RGB, fully working, hardly used, maybe. Um, I kind of like the Kraken X63 though. Now you've got good feedback. Comes with all accessories. Excellent condition. Supports AM4. You watch it reject it again. Oh, there we go. See, it's, it's working there. <coughs> right. Anyway, there you go. I'm not that fussed on water cooling. I am going to get to a repair in a minute, by the way. I promise. But yeah, I've just bought that. £444.81 I had in there in rewards. And now I've got 364 So that was basically free for me. That was basically free for me. So yeah, I haven't paid for that. Although I haven't paid any out of pocket for that. So there's my cooler on the way. I've got my case and my cooler on the way now. Um, one one thing, I have got um, a few motherboards. And uh, one of them is a... Um, I think it's an X570. Um, they're faulty, but I'm hoping to be able to attempt to repair them. Um, I'm hoping to be able to attempt to repair them. That case ain't got room for an AIO. Yeah, it has. If it doesn't, I'll return it. Sure, sure it has. Sure it's got room for an AIO. But it's got a picture on there with an AIO. Um... But there's a picture on there with of this case with an AIO cooler inside it. Like, of course it's got room for an AIO. And more than enough room, mate. More than enough. Plenty of room, that is. Honestly, plenty of room. The case is terrible. I quite like it. But yeah. That's just room for a fan. Nah, there's more than enough room, mate. Is that built up from 2% rewards? That's built up from 2% rewards and referrals. I've had about 15 referrals on there. 10 or 15, I don't know. Uh, but I've had quite a few referrals through it. Um, so, 
yeah, maybe 10, 10 or 12 referrals, I don't know, more than enough room and, and then some, yeah, there is, there is loads of room. I have an extra B450M DSVH you can have. Um, maybe, Matt, I want to try and repair that video. Um, oh, that video. I want to try and repair that um, that X570 I've got. Um, but yeah. Right, let me try and do it on split payment. Like I've got, I've got the money to pay for that CPU, but I'll just. I don't know why it's rejecting that one specific payment. Uh, shop online. Let's try paying for. Enable card. Uh, oh no, I want to. I want to discount. I want to discount it as well. Uh, right there we go. So I've added the discounted thing and put it to paying for. <coughs> Time to repair a PS3. So let me just try and process it now. Uh... See what they've sold recently before I actually do it then. How's that? Um... Oh, I want to see. Give me the list view. Stop being a dick. I could just go for a 5600X instead. I'm looking for other processors that they've sold. Hmm, this seems a bit odd. But why have they not sold any more processors? I mean, they're selling quite a lot of stuff. They're not going to be a scam, surely. Um... Hmm... Is it going to go through this time? Nope. Reckon there's not enough funds. <sighs> well, that's annoying. Reckon there's not enough funds. I know there is. Fuck it, I'll sort that another time. Um, I'll probably go to CEX and buy it from there instead. What graphics card you get? Maybe I'll be limited. Well, I spoke to them the other day, and they said because um, he was doing it the other day as well, and they said basically that Mastercard set limit. But I'm not trying to use my card. I'm trying to use my points, so it shouldn't. Those limits shouldn't really apply. I mean, I could I could buy that and pay off my normal card, but I really shouldn't have to. I really shouldn't have to. Fifty six hundred X is only hundred seventy nine. Um, what is the what's the specs on the fifty six hundred X? So I want to do a fifty nine. I want to do a fifty nine fifty X build. Six cores, nah, not enough, not enough, mate. I really want to do a more of a balls to the wall.
Well, not balls to the wall, but decent. Um, ben tip three dollars and thirty two cents. I wonder if I can say the word cunt live on stream. <laughs> say it for me, oh amazing coder, please, please, please. <laughs> Thank you, mate. <laughs> oh dear. You signed up to Zilch. I hope you use my referral link. I've got a referral link if anyone wants to use Zilch. Oh, see, if I was going to buy that, though, I'd buy... I'd want to buy another kit. I'd want to buy 32 gig. I'd want to buy 32 gig, not 16. I do like the white RAM, though. <clears throat> hmm. Thirty two hundred megahertz will do me. I need to re-enable my card. So that's one good thing about using this, you can't use it unless you enable the card. See, apparently I don't have enough funds, which is absolute bullshit. Absolute bullshit. What motherboard are you using? I don't know yet. Um, hang on a minute. Let me. Let me just sort out another card. Hang on. Uh, Oh, damn it. Hang on. <coughs> right, bear with me. Withdraw. See, there we go. There we go. Oh, by the way, I cancelled that. That's why it's showing up as unpaid. Oh, well, I'm not paying for it. Well, I attempted to cancel it and it never got back to me. 
Uh, Alright, so we've got the RAM, we've got the cooler, and we've got the case. Um, the motherboard, I do want to get, but I don't want to get it yet. Um, because I want to try and fix one for a video. Done purchase. What was a done purchase, mate? Yeah, I'm not gaming on it. It's gonna be for it's gonna be for um, editing only. I'm not. I don't. I don't intend on ever playing a game on it. I'm not a PC gamer. Um. So yeah, yeah. We've got the case. We've got the RAM. We've got the um, CPU cooler. So I just need to get the CPU, the motherboard sorted, and the um, CPU, motherboard, graphics card. Honestly, the graphics card can wait for a bit because, um, yeah, I don't really need it. I've got a P4000, which I'll do fine for now. Um, so, just really the CPU and motherboard. Um, I've got a 1000 watt power supply already. I only need 32 gig RAM, mate. I don't need 64 gig. Mega high prices. What mega high prices? I don't think I've paid high prices. Like sixty five and seventy. Like for the RAM, that's not a bad price. I've bought. I've paid extra because I want it in white. Because I want it to go with the white case. I don't mind the cooler being black, but I wanted the RAM to be white. It doesn't matter. P4000 I've got, P4000, uh, that's in this rig at the minute, um, oh, I can't get through, through there, yeah, so NVIDIA Quadro P4000, and it'll run fine on that for now, and I've already got a power supply, uh, 1000 watt power supply, I'm not buying shit from CEX. I can't buy anything from Amazon, mate. I'm banned. Huh? I'm not buying shit from CEX. No one. CEX is scams. CEX can fuck myself. Anyway, let's get to a repair because I bet people are getting bored now of me just buying shit on eBay. Um. <coughs> I would buy from CEX with a two year warranty. That two year warranty is a scam, mate. Now that two year warranty is a scam, come on. We all know it's a scam because after about two months, they reduce the value. Like you take something back after two months and say, right, it's faulty. I guarantee, I guarantee they will reduce the price. They'll say, right, you've had it for so long, so we're going to knock them, we're going to knock the price down. Or they do in my local shops anyway. Thought I was on the shopping channel. Huh? Check Jay's Two Cents. Um, I used to watch Jay's Two Cents. I don't really watch that sort of stuff anymore. It doesn't matter too much. I mean, technically, the stuff that I've just bought, apart from the case, I've used free money because it's points. The, it's it's rewards that I've used to pay for it. I haven't paid anything out of the bank. Oh, sorry, yeah, I have. I'll just pay for the RAM out of the bank. Sorry. Uh, but, yeah, no, it's just... You're making me want to spend. <laughs> it's just one of them. It's, I don't trust CEX at all. <coughs> I don't trust them in the slightest. Right, well, unfortunately, that PS4 Pro is a no-fix for now.
Yeah, I get the same things. People pretending to be me, mate. Right, I'm not sure what is wrong with this at all. There is no information on it. Um, I just got a note with it saying good luck. So, yeah. I'm honestly not sure what the dealio is with this. Ended up with stupid £600 voucher for more overpriced crap. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not buying shit from CEX. I'd rather pay retail. <laughs> Sorry. I'd rather pay retail. What is wrong with this sofa? I need to know, mate. Uh, if, if this is yours, I could be wrong. Um, but if the owner's in the chat, there was earlier, but if the owner's in the chat, what is wrong with this? Because I need to know. Never been refunded with a credit note. Uh, well, technically, that's illegal. But, yeah. Yeah, I need to know what's wrong with this. Good lord, that port. That port, though. Wow. That port, though. Where the fuck's my HDMI gone? Yeah, I've got like four broken motherboards which I want to attempt to repair. Why is that not reaching? What the hell? I'm not going to be overclocking anything, to be fair. Nothing at all. Xbox One S, one terabyte box with 13 games. I'm not sure, mate, to be honest. Going on with that port. Don't seem like a healthy port to me. Thank you, Peter. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can someone ban that bot while I'm doing this? That don't seem like a healthy port to me. Okay, it is. I heard a sizzle then. It is apparently attempting to charge. This looks like it's been destroyed. To be honest, this looks like it's been butchered. No offence. Looks like someone's gone to town on this. Um, I'm... Is the owner in the chat? Is the owner in the chat? Because this has been reflowed to hell and I don't think I should waste my time on it. I'm not being rude, but... Uh, I'm in sub only mode, mate. The bots are getting smarter. Yeah, I'm not being rude, but I think this has been reflowed to hell. And I don't think I should mess with it. I'm seeing flux everywhere. I think I'm going to be wasting my time. Look, why that's been snapped, honestly, I, I don't know. Thank you, Keith. I'm going to take a look over the board really quickly, but I can't see me working on this, I'll be honest. Because my time's not there to be wasted on, and I don't mean this in a nasty way, but my time is not there to be wasted on 
repair attempts that have been butchered really because that's that would just be stupid of me to waste my time on that sort of stuff <clears throat> Shall we just text Senti to troll me? <laughs> if I'm going to work on stuff like this, I mean, I'm seeing flux everywhere on that. If I'm going to work on this, it's going to be repair attempt fees. Um, yeah, it's going to be repair attempt fees and or rather a fee whether I can fix it or not so I'm not seeing a response from the owner so port's been changed BQ's been replaced, M92, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it might have been. There's flux all over the RAM, there's flux all over the CPU. It's been worked on hardcore. It's been worked on, he's had major work. Damn it, I've unplugged it again. Um, yeah, so this has had major rework. That much I do know. Bear with it a second while it just loads up the microscope. Which will be in about three seconds. There we go. So BQ has definitely been replaced. That is a given. But you can clearly see that. M92 has been replaced. Uh, M92 might not have been replaced. I'm not sure. Um. Quicker just to say what hasn't been done yet. Alright. Let's go for resistance mode on the CPU cap. Hang on, it's not in focus for me. Yep, dead CPU. It's a dead CPU. It can't be fixed. It can't be fixed. No matter what, it can't be fixed. CPU is dead. Resistance mode. CPU cap. Dead short. Dead short, he can't be fixed. Bye bye. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Bye bye. Cannot be fixed. Someone's reflowed that CPU and killed it. That's what's happened there. <coughs> Can't you replace the CPU? No. Um, you can, but you're taking one off a board. You've got to take one off another board. And if you're taking a CPU off a board, then that board most likely either works or it's going to be a lot easier to fix than a um, than a CPU replacement. Yeah, that is dead short to ground on that CPU. Unfortunately. Let's 
So, I am not going to be screwing it back in. I'm not wasting my time. It got sent to me in bits. So, I'm going to put it back in the bag it came in. Can't you just reball the CPU? No. Uh, that CPU is directly shorted, mate. That CPU is just directly shorted. Uh, yes, the CPU is married with the NAND, and unfortunately the CPU, the NAND is soldered on these. Uh, can you try reflow it? No, it's pointless, mate. A reflow is not going to fix it. Um, a reflow would only fix it if it was damaged solder balls. Should have sent it in bites. <laughs> so no, I'm not going to work on that. Sorry. I'll figure out who it belongs to tomorrow and call them. Uh, not a lot, mate. Not a lot. Uh, right, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go grab another work, another job, guys.
That's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. And now I'm out of breath. Wow. Damn. Jesus. That's heavy. Right, so, there's a reason I've brought this stuff up. There is a reason I've brought this stuff up. So, here I've got a thousand watt power supply, brand spanking new. This is going to go into my PC when I build it. That's why I've not been looking for a power supply because. I've got a brand new one here. This came from a house clearance. My brother-in-law works in house clearances and that's where this came from. So, I'm not gonna need to buy a power supply. I paid 50 quid for this. 50 pound. Bargain of the century. I actually got negative feedback on the for this on eBay. Um, <clears throat> I got negative feedback on eBay because the person who bid on it didn't check with me first and asked me for international shipping. This is heavy. Like, this is heavy. And not only that, it's just too much paperwork to deal with international shipping just for the sake of a sale on eBay. So, um, I, told the I told the buyer I wasn't going to send it and I sent him a refund and he left me negative feedback. So, I ended up saying to my brother-in-law, I was like, right, well, it sold on eBay after the fees, you would have got about 50 quid, so I'll give 50 quid for it. But yeah, brand new, these are about 200, 250 pound. So yeah, absolute bark in the center. Eh? So yeah, that is going to be going into my PC. So I brought that up to keep it up here. Um, and this is one of the motherboards that I bought from eBay about four months ago. Can't remember what I paid for them. Not a clue, but it wasn't much. Um, and this is faulty, but it is. A pretty decent AM4 board. It's a pretty decent AM4 board. It's an MSI Bazooka. Um, <clears throat> apparently it had an AMD um, 3600 XT in it, it says do not remove, so not a clue what's wrong with the board, but um, yeah, not a clue what's wrong with the board, but it does... It was sold as faulty, so if I can get this working, then I'll probably use this. Um, it's a nice board, it's got decent features. Um, display port, HDMI, four USB 3s. Um, I'm assuming they're going to be USB 3.1, I don't know, maybe. Um, Onboard audio shit, probably got gigabit LAN, uh, M.2, blah, blah, blah. And it supports AM4 boards. But I don't actually know what's wrong with it. So when I get it, when I do get a CPU, then I'm going to try and fix this board. And um, if I can fix the board, then I'll use this. So yeah. So there we go. That's the plan. Anyway, that is always the plan. It's a B550M. Bazooka, which is a decent board, only four SATA, yeah but I'm not going to be using the SATA ports on it, I'm going to be using the M.2 um, and then I've got an M.2 PCI Express as well, um, SATA hard drives I'm going to be putting into the server and using it as a storage server, what's the model, it's a B550M Bazooka, um, does it fire rockets? I hope so. I hope it's fast. 
The only thing I'd need to try and source is a backplate. But, yeah. I'd need to try and source an IO shield for it, but I'm sure I'd be able to come across one. What you like of fixing Rolls Voices? <laughs> yeah, I've seen I've seen these videos, yeah. No, 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 the back plate wasn't in it, mate. It's it's a broken motherboard, it never come with it. Um but yeah, that's gonna be the plan, and that's why I wanna get a CPU as as soon as possible. Do you ever get simple repair jobs done? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> Never. Even this, like, even this, I did this earlier for a video. Even this piece of shit took me an hour and a half to fix. And you come in for no display. I never get easy jobs. Never get easy jobs, mate. <clears throat> uh. Anyway. Let's get to a fix. Because we're losing viewers. Right. I'm going to post a poll on YouTube. I'm going to ask you to select one or two. One is the top one, two is the bottom one. Don't know what's wrong with them. Bought them as a job lot. Haven't tested them yet. So, which one first? Actually, I'll just say top or bottom on the poll. Top or bottom. I'm going to give you guys a choice. Will be able to work yet. So there is a poll. I'll give you two minutes on the poll. So polls on YouTube chat, and you guys are going to choose. I do not know what's wrong with either of them. Um, I haven't tested them. So yeah, I bought them in a batch of six. Middle <laughs> trick. <coughs> Bought them in a batch of six uh, quite a while ago. Um, I think I paid £160 for for six of them. Um, I've got one working. I've still got five left. Um, ran to YouTube just to vote. <laughs> Can't lady. it. No, I've got, um, I've got, an, I've got an SSD, uh, PCI Express SSD converter. Uh, PCI Express M.2. Sorry. So, yeah, that's not a problem. Not an issue. Well, at least it shouldn't be. But even if I can't raid them, I don't mind. If I if I can get the board working, then it's a win. Because I definitely didn't pay the price of one board for them. Um, I bought four, and I've, I, I don't, like I said, I haven't looked at them because I haven't got a CPU. But I bought four, and I... Um, there definitely wasn't even the cost of one. Like there, there wasn't even for the price of one of them. Do cars ever get rim jobs? <laughs> Don't let the titties win. <laughs> and two, two off me. Yeah, I do actually have two off you, yeah. Um, I was looking at them just and I was thinking, should I do them, should I not? But no, these ones I've had for a few months. So I'll let you guys choose. Uh, Top is winning at the minute. <clears throat> so I've got um, I've got five of these. Um, look, um, Ian Bates had the board out of one of them the other day because I couldn't fix his board. Um, from what I can tell, it needs all of the RAM replacing, and I'm not replacing all of that in it. You can go as a donor board, so yeah. One of them, uh, the one, the, the only one that I've tried to fix, I managed to fix out of this batch of six. Uh, this is two more out of a batch of six. Uh, I've got one just behind my desk, and then there's two more downstairs. How much are they worth working? Not a fat lot. Really, not a fat lot. But I've done all my work over the weekend, so I haven't really got a lot to do. So I might as well work on my own stuff. 
I did teach myself Dirk, yeah. Only four PCIH press. I don't think I need more than four. I need one for graphics, one for audio, one for capture card, and one for uh, an extra M.2. I haven't watched Top Gear for years, to be honest. Right, okay, I'm going to end the poll. Last call for votes. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The poll ended. There we go, top one. So we'll work on this one first. Just so you know, I'm not switching them. Oh, you should have chose the bottom one. Oh, you should have chose the bottom one. You should have chose the bottom one. Oh, that one's shockingly bad. How did you teach yourself? Just watching videos, mate, and practice. That's it. Oh, you should have chose that one. You should have chose the bottom one. You guys, you guys picked it. I probably won't get banned for what, mate. Well, well, do a Joey intro. All right, then. Hang on, let me drink some coffee first, and I'll do a Joey intro. <coughs> Oh, I can't do the can't do the intro, can I? Because Joey zooms in on your face and stuff. I can go. Uh... Hey, everybody! Welcome to another video here on the Coldest Channel. Today, we're going to be looking at these Xbox, and I sound like a cunt, so I'm going to go back to the normal overhead. Bye. There's your intro. <laughs> <laughs> That was your intro. <laughs> My ex-girlfriend's YouTube shorts that video. No, no, no. Nope. Oh, look. There's that button to that switch. I'll drop that there. Well, it's okay. Anyway. This was picked at random from a pile of two. So it's had a 50-50 chance of being picked. Not very much. Yeah. Oh, well. It was picked randomly by chat in a poll. I'm looking for my power supply. Can't fucking find it. Uh, stream over? Maybe? Can't find the power supply? Hmm? Oh, it's here. Never mind. <laughs> Alright then. Well. <clears throat> well, well, well. Let's, uh, Let's grab my power supply and we will try and figure out what is wrong with it. You need to do more of them intros. <laughs> so let's try and figure out what is wrong. Let's just move a couple of these pieces of crap out of the way. And go turbo mode. Boom. Turbo mode active. And oh, that sounded a bit funky. Please don't have nothing wrong with it. Hmm. 
Hmm. Please don't have nothing wrong. Don't be a dick. What are your switches on the desk? That switch is... That one will activate that cable. And this one is for this cable. Yeah, I'll plug the head for mine now. Bear with me. Un moment, senor. One thing, this pair of brick is not earthed because this cable I'm using is not earthed. Oh, it's just turned itself off. Hmm. I don't know if these pair of bricks use an earth though. Let's have a look. <laughs> this this shall be sponsored by Just For Men. <laughs> this is going to be a fucking boring hard drive job, this is. This is literally going to be a boring hard drive job. And you guys picked it. It needs a service and a hard drive. Rip. Let's go back to overhead. <clears throat> See if it shuts. See if it shuts down again. Yeah, sync button's not working. Hard drive's clicking. It's about to shut down in a second. Uh huh. Yep. 60 second shutdown, that is 99% of the time going to be a hard drive and the other 1% is going to be the MOSFETs on the hard drive. Let's hope it's the 1%. Um, just to show you that switch by the way, that one turns off the IEC C7 cable. Um, but this one, if you look, just to show you that do actually work. You ready? Boom. They do work. E100 error code. Um, it could be your hard drive, or you need to check the logs. Ideally, um, you need to plug the compute the hard drive into a computer and check your logs and see what the logs say. Um, a lot of the time, E100 is going to be down to a faulty disk drive daughter board, and that is the one issue that can't be fixed. 10 LGs, 8 will work, 1 will need a hard drive, and 1 will beep on and off, yeah. <laughs> the one that Ian sent will be the beep on and off one. Right, okay. Um, I will still fix it, and I'll, I'll work on the other one afterwards. Let's get some gloves on, this is filthy. Um, yeah, let's get some gloves on. But unfortunately, and I'm sorry to tell you this, but hard drives are boring jobs. To be honest with you. Xbox One curse indeed. I'm going to hit the sack. No worries, Dave. Thank you for hanging out, mate. I really do appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. I'm hoping this is going to be the 1%. To be honest, I am hoping this is going to be the one percent. Just because I'd rather I'd rather do something interesting. To be honest with you, I would rather do something interesting, and I prefer to solder than to just swap parts. You know, it's, it's just one of them things. Like, swapping parts is boring. Like, we don't want to be... But I like to enjoy my work, and I really do love fault-finding. Like, I genuinely do enjoy fault-finding. I enjoy every second of it. 
Um, and swapping parts is just not fun. It's going to need a new front panel connector, so that's a little bit of soldering we could do if we wanted to break another connector just to fix that. But I don't think that's a wise move. I don't think it's wise to break a connector just to fix a connector. And I haven't got any faulty ones. Very supportive here. It's, it's not actually for pride. Um, I Someone told me to buy gloves. So I thought I'd try them and buy pink ones. And plus, I see no issue with pink. So... But I do support um, gay, straight, whatever people want to identify as. Um, well, I wouldn't say I support. I don't. I'm not an activist or anything like that. But I've got. I've got no problem with them. If that makes sense, I've got no issue with them. Um, <clears throat> it's just one of them things. Like I mean, I've got gay people in my family, so. I take no issue and I don't think anyone should anyway hey oh that's renewals exactly one o'clock thank you for the renewals though but these are gonna come through there's a reason I've swapped to the big screwdriver and that's because someone's decided that they want to use an electric screwdriver on this we're nearly on 200 um, subs on Twitch as well now, which is awesome. Technology became a member. Pink is the new purple. <laughs> what 2.5 inch high cap hard drives do you recommend for PCs? Uh, I don't know to be honest. Oh, Zenik, I think he's in the chat. Gamers in the chat. Thank you for your money, gamer. How many more is that? Is that it? I think that's it. That's all renewals because it's exactly 1 p.m. at uh, 1 a.m. Uh, with daylight saving times. Oh, that was a one terabyte as well. You bastard. Oh. Right, okay, well, that doesn't even need a service. It just needs to clean on the outside. That's been serviced. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's an upgraded hard drive. Oh, that sucks, man. That does suck. If that hard drive bad, that does suck. Because they're decent hard drives. Uh, they use Western Digital Blue on the uh, originals, yeah. On the OGs, they use Western Digital Blue. Right, yeah. So these hard drives are decent hard drives, but when they do fail, they fail spectacularly. Um, let me. Where's my. Uh, where's my dock? I don't actually know where my dock is. Um, hmm. <clears throat> let me see if I can find my dock quickly because I want to read that drive and just see if it is the drive that's bad. Actually, I've got a USB one. Never mind.
Right, that's not even firing up. Hmm. Right. There's a short on that board. There is a short. <coughs> on that board it's trying to fire up but the board itself is getting warm around here when I plug it in somewhere there standard Phillips not that one though, that's a pH1. Diode gone, probably. Okay, okay. Let's go under the scope with the board then. Let's try and make this a little bit more interesting by uh, working on the hard drive instead. Come on, microscope. There we go. All right, so this is definitely getting hot. And the most common area to actually get damaged here is typically going to be the diode here. So let's just have a look, see if we can find this short. So with a meter in beep to beep 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 mode, that is the official term by the way, it is called beep to beep 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 mode. Let's have a look. Nope, that's not short. that make the disc click potentially yeah so let's just try hello here we go we've got a short on this fuse here Don't think that's normal. Don't know if that's normal. Uh, what was Alan saying then? Oh, I saw a bit of it, but I didn't see order bit hang on is that a joint no 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 i don't i don't smoke that stuff <clears throat> my partner does 
<coughs> but I don't. Um, I think the heat was around this area here. It felt like it was around here. So, to be honest, I'm wondering if it's potentially this chip what's gone. I don't know what chip that is. I'm thinking, is it that what's failed? Um. Is it going uh, a video? I'm not finding any shorts. Yeah, I'm not finding any shorts, but I'm pretty sure it was around this area which was getting hot. Um, I'm wondering if I can. I'm wondering if I can just use this without it being plugged into a computer. Apparently I can, and it's drawing 0 0.3 amps with nothing plugged in. It's drawing 5 volts at 0 0.3 amps with nothing plugged into it. Look, there's no hard drive, there's nothing told the PCB to turn on. Oh yeah, it's that chip. Into that chip. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. Into that chip. I think it's that chip. I don't actually, it might not be. Yeah, it is. It's that cheap, isn't it? How's it going, Paul? This is a one terabyte hard drive, mate. And there's your short. There's your short. But is it the cheap or is it a smaller component? Hmm. So just because the chip's getting hot it's not necessarily always that but we are drawing 300 milliamps of current and that is an awful lot for a hard drive that's not even well for a hard drive PCB that's not even connected up had a heat pad on it yeah it did but that shouldn't happen um, I don't think it should draw that much current without even attempting to spin the hard drive to be honest because that's not that's not spinning any motors or anything you know that's drawing 0 0.21 amps with the drive spinning so yeah that I would say is probably shorted. Um, I'll put the thermal camera on. I'll see if I can pick it up. <clears throat> you know, maybe see if I can pinpoint a cap or something that's gone. But it's doubtful. 
who haven't shipped what order Wes but yeah 0 0.31 amps without doing nothing now that's not even powering a a hard drive up but like, it shouldn't be doing shouldn't be doing that uh, shouldn't be doing 0 0.31 amps without even trying to spin a hard drive up Oh, tobacco order. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So, with a hard drive. Point forty one. Hmm. Oh. That made a nice noise. I think it's just put itself into some sort of protection mode. No. The platter's crashing as well. Yeah, can't... I don't think I can fix that. I don't think I can fix that. I'll try and figure out what's going on with the board, but that's getting warm even without. Um, I mean, we could try. We could try the theory out. This is another Seagate drive. Yes, it's a different model, but we could try the theory out and just see how this one behaves with no um, with no board. Heads and knackered. Um, yeah, but it sh I don't think it should be behaving like that with the PC. Like, I don't think the PCB should be behaving like that. Um, like, you can't just swap this board. Like, I wouldn't be able to... Well, I would probably actually be able to swap this board, to be honest. Um, but I don't know what chips I would have to change. Oh, okay. Does that get warm? Yeah, it's actually not the board. Because this board's fine and this one's doing the same. So, yeah, it's actually not the board. That's interesting. It is the hard drive. The heads are gone. I can't fix the heads. I cannot fix the heads. not something I'm set up to do so yeah we're gonna give up on that and we're gonna what do you call it yeah we're gonna give up on that and we're gonna uh, just replace the drive oh it's the wind bond chip yeah, so apparently that's normal when it's not connected up to a drive. Evidently I was wrong. So, we're going to forget that I ever did that. That hard drive will go in the scrap. That will go as a spare board. Um, and yeah, we'll just call it quits. Because <coughs> I don't have a clean room. So, I can't open the drive up safely. Oh well. So, hard drive swap and done. Why did I unplug that from there? I need it plugged in. Hard drive swap and done. Uh, right, let me grab a hard drive. One moment, senor. <clears throat> it's 
the BIOS on the hard drive, you need to swap the GPP, swap the hard drive PCB. Oh, okay. I thought he was. I've done one before, but I can't, I couldn't remember. I've only ever done one or two of them. Um, two at the most, I think. I can't actually remember, but yeah. I've got a video on the channel actually where I did one, but that was literally, I, did, I didn't even test it. The guy literally sent me the two PCBs, said how much we charge me to put this chip on. He said, send me, th send me 30 quid and we'll call it quits. And I just, I just charged him my minimum bench fee. Uh, so basically, if I work on something, if I do anything to it at all, and the fix is successful, there is a minimum fee. Hard drive MOSFETs, they're right next to the connector, mate. Right next to the connector. There you go. Right, I'm going to need to find a couple of screws. So yeah, they're the original hard drives. That's meant to be in it. I could have just used a 500, but may as well make a bit of use out of the hard drives I've got and use the one terabyte. Proof that the card has loose, uh, has screws loose. Yeah, obviously. This hard drive come from the the one that I uh, like. This one here, the blue one, that come from the motherboard swap that I did for Ian Bates the other day. Well, yeah, that doesn't even need a service inside, but that. It's going to be all she wrote. But I'm not going to bother taking the um, APU clamp off that. It's It's been cleaned. It's been serviced. It's just the outside what's dirty. Spin. I said spin. Thank you. Yoink.
There we go. That's installing. <clears throat> uh, I could service it. But that's it. Wouldn't be a problem to change the thermal paste. If you guys want me to change the thermal paste, I'll change the thermal paste. I don't mind. Wait, well, it's four screws. It's not. It's not. Well, no, it's not. It's eight screws. If you want me to change it, I'll change it. Or I could work on that really, really dirty one, and just put this one. Get this one done. Could just get this one done and then do the really dirty one. <coughs> right, let me give this port the wiggle test. Yeah, that seems fine. Work on dirty one. I'm thinking that. Is that flare one worth it? Uh, probably not. No. They lose synchronisation between the camera and the thermal image sensor, to be honest. I reckon it's had fresh paste already as well. It's been opened and cleaned. What I don't understand is why they didn't replace the hard drive. Um, but I will install the operating system just to confirm a fix on this, but I don't think it needs a service, personally. Um, the board looks mint, to be fair. The board looks pristine. If anyone wants to buy this, let me know. Uh, I think it's two terabyte the maximum. Might be four though. I would sell this for fifty quid with the hard drive with the one terabyte hard drive. But I don't have a pair of supply for it. Actually, I've got forty five. I'd go 45 on this. If anyone wants a cheap Xbox with a one terrible byte hard drive, <coughs> I'll fuck off bots. Bye bye. Fiver. Not a fiver, forty five. Forty five quid, yeah. Forty five quid. With a one terabyte hard drive, but he's got no power supply though. So you'd have to buy a power supply. Can't ban because I'm not a mod. You can be a mod if you want to be a mod, Joe. Bot name is hilarious. Bot name's fucking stupid. You sound different, new mic setup. Um it is a new mic, it's uh it's actually a cheap mic, fifty quid special. No, this is an Xbox One, mate. It's an Xbox One original. I've got my Halo one. Yeah, I well, know. <laughs> um I shouldn't have any problem selling this for forty five to be fair. My IBM mod. Hmm, I suppose. Sounds pretty clear. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not too. I, I have changed some settings on it, so. Um, yeah. You can buy one at GameStop. Um, well, I'll repair a supply. Yeah, you can, yeah. Yeah, I've blocked the bot. Yeah, I do, bot, I do block him. Joey just text would be a mod. I think he is. Yeah, Archie Golden's a mod, yeah. On Twitch he's a mod. Archie Golden's a Twitch mod. Uh Power Supply you can buy at GameStop. Yeah, you can buy them on Amazon as well, but you get them pretty cheap on eBay second hand. Like I'd rather buy genuine ones. Um It's like when I buy um a phone or something, I'd I'd rather buy a second hand genuine battery. If I buy a phone just to fix for the head of fixing it. 
Is it the road lavalier? No, it's not. This is a um, it's an overhead mic. Well, it's actually a podcast mic, but I've mounted it overhead. Um, it's mounted. Let me just uh, while that's rebooting. That no, that reboot is normal. So you can look at my ugly mug. But there it is. So it's mounted. It's mounted here because I can move. Well, these um, these mounts I've got are adjustable, so I can move it up and down. Um, but the reason it sounds a bit clearer tonight is because I've changed some of the filters on OBS. So on my streaming software, I've changed some of the filters. <laughs> That's a bit wonky, isn't it? You in the shed? No, I'm in my loft, mate. Are you handing out mods? <laughs> nah. Well, I'm looking for a couple more mods on Twitch. Do need a couple more Twitch mods. No, yeah, I'm in my loft, not my shed. Um, it's basically just a temporary solution. Um, I need to move house, so yeah, it's a temporary solution. Sounds excellent. That be closer. Uh, do it sound better closer? The problem is with it being closer is I basically um, keep headbutting the thing every time I get up. Uh, but yeah, the reason it sounds a bit clearer is because if I go to my desktop, uh, oh, actually, let's not put that there. Um, Samos Cheerlex 6 Peekaboo. <laughs> How's it going, Sam? Cheers, mate. How tall are you? I, I am 5'11, I think. I'm 5'11. Uh, and if I'm not, then I'll pretend I am. Um, yeah, anyway, so yeah, I've adjusted the audio filters. So basically, I've got it. Um, I've set my gain on my. Um, on my main audio properties, I've got it. I've got the gain set at zero decibels, uh, so I've got it flat on the on there. And then when I go into my filters, I've got a digital. I've got a digital gain after it's been converted from analog to digital. Um, so once it gets converted from, uh, well, I think this is digital anyway. But once it gets fully converted. I've got a 15 decibel gain, uh, plus 15 decibel, and then it goes into a compressor, which I don't know what these numbers mean, I'm going to be honest, I found them on, you, on uh, YouTube, and then I've got a limiter, so I can shout as much as I want, and that prevents the, um, that prevent that cuts off at negative 2.5 decibels, so you can see here where I've got this peak line. Uh, there's a peak line just here, and it will never, ever, ever go above that line. So, yeah, I've got to be careful because the kids are asleep, but it'll never go above that line, which means it will never distort. And then on top of that, I've got a suppressor, and the suppressor is set at negative 25 decibels for background noise. Um, so it only it only picks up my voice, basically. Um, well, it picks up some background noise, but it's more for background hiss than anything. So yeah, that's how I've got my audio set up in OBS now. It works well. So that's why it sounds a bit different tonight. And that's why it sounds better tonight. Short enough for a blowjob. <laughs> yeah, that's why it sounds better tonight, because I've got it set up pretty well in OBS now and 
Right, how's this doing? Great value for money. Yeah, it's a good mic. The, like I said, the only problem is it, with it being mounted, I need to find somewhere else to mount it because with it being mounted where it is, um, my um, I keep head butting it when I stand up. Um, but the audio is going to be changing again. The audio is going to be changing again because I've bought. These, these are on the way. These are on the way. So yes, these are designed for drums, but they are designed for vocals as well. Uh, so the, this is dual microphone, Samson SACO2s, um, pencil condenser microphones, and the plan here is to mount them and um, like to mount them left and right and pan it properly using the mixer. So as I've got the two microphones going into the mixer through XLR cables. So I've got the XLR cables on the way as well. But the microphones are going to go into the mixer and then I'm going to pan it individually on the mixer for the left and right. And then I think the other plan is to use this microphone that I'm using right now mount it overhead like as in like a lot higher than it is right now and pan that for center um i don't know whether that would be two, that would be 2.1 i'm not sure chad's more no <clears throat> um yeah so would that be two would that be 2.1 audio or would it be three something i don't know um, if I had the two mics left and right and then one above me, I don't I honestly don't know um, But yeah, they're on the way as, as well as two five meter XLR cables So I am working on it. Hey, there we go. Look boom Boom that's what I'm talking about Job done fixed winner winner Let's just test the disk drive. So F1 2020 going in. I think it's 2020. OG Game Boy with a green screen. Only stereo plus mono. Not a clue. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's still going to have at least stereo sound. Oh, for fuck's sake, them bots, man, what the fuck? How do they keep getting past? He's in subscriber only mode. Well, yeah, destroy's working as well. Cool. Oh, I'm not upgrading to Windows 11. Windows 11 sucks. Right, that's shutting down. But yeah, the plan is to mount them left and right and actually pan them properly in OBS, in the, with the mixer. Um, and I have got an Asus, uh, Asus Strix um, external sound, well not external, PCI Express sound card. So it's gonna, it should be decent quality audio when I've built the new PC, hopefully. Um, but then again, it's, um, it's connected through USB anyway on the mixer, so, yeah. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> job done. Sorry it wasn't more interesting. Um, another win though, I suppose. It's, um, these six Xboxes I bought are shaping up to be pretty good in terms of, uh, being repairable. Um, that is broken. So let's see if I've got one of them spare. Um, hmm. I know I've got one, but I don't know where. 
Um, yeah, I'm going to leave that till tomorrow, I think. I'm not going to worry about that. I'll put the screws and stuff back in tomorrow as well. It's another win. Nonetheless, but I do need to... I do need to find one of them screw guides because that one is broken. So I'll find a screw guide tomorrow. I do have some. But I'll find a screw guide tomorrow. I'd rather just work on something else for now. Yeah, um, it was an APU issue, mate, but it was a no fix because I haven't got the stencil for that specific APU. I did try a reflow. <clears throat> and unfortunately it was unsuccessful. Um, mm, it could do with a HDMI port. Could do with a HDMI port. That is a little bit damaged on the outer case. In fact, the port's very damaged. But I think... I think I'll do that tomorrow. Well, I'll do it on another video. Um, actually, I don't think I've got a, a video for a HDMI port on one of them, so I'll do it for a video. Um, it does need a HDMI port. That port is damaged. But uh, let's see if we can find a more interesting thing for the stream with that other one. Let's see if we can find a more interesting fix, shall we? I'd rather do something a bit more interesting for a live stream. Look at that easy clean up. It is a good design, isn't it? That it is a pretty good um, little setup that with that ESD mat and small heat mat. Like that, that's just so much simpler to clean than the blue ones. I might buy another one of them because I know they're small, but I might buy another one and then put them well, put them sideways like that. What do you guys reckon? Get another one of them? I reckon I should. I reckon I should get another one of them and just put it there. Is it possible to jailbreak an Xbox One? Why would you want to jailbreak it? There's no need to. You can already run um, retro games on it. I don't think there is because there's never been a need to. Right. Okay. Well, let's get some gloves on because I ain't touching that shit. <laughs> I ain't touching that one. Oh. Yeah, I agree, Steve. Right. Here we go. Cool. All right. Da, 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 da. That's fucking disgusting. Poo box. Right, okay, well. I'll tell you what, let's get a. This one's probably gonna make a video. Let's get a thumbnail. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> now 
There's a thumbnail. Oh dear. <laughs> Anyway, this <laughs> is fucking disgusting. Uh, right. Licky. I'll tell you what. If the donation goal got reached by the end of this repair, I'll lick it. If the donation goal gets reached by the end of this repair, I will lick it. How does that sound? <laughs> Turbo mode active. Power supply is coming on. Good job to this AFK. <laughs> he probably is, yeah. <laughs> donation train hype. Hey, I'll take a donation train hype. <laughs> and it's turning it on. Turning on. Let's have a look. No signal. Man, that is just vile. <laughs> If you close your eyes, it's just melted chocolate. <laughs> Is that what you say when you're sniffing arses? <laughs> you saw the picture? Did you? It's got a black screen. Yeah, everyone's saying I saw the logo. I didn't see it, but I believe you. I believe you all. But it's not booting. Is this really going to be just another hard drive issue? <laughs> How are all these hard drive issues? Like The last one was a hard drive issue as well. Come on, I want to do some soldering. I want to do some soldering. <laughs> oh. Do I even bother? Or oh, shall I try and clean it up? Shall I see how long it takes me to clean? What do you guys reckon? It needs licking to fix. Nope, donation goal's not finished. The new PC get donation goal is not finished. Yeah, I got him in a lot of six. Off stream job. Oh wow. Yeah, that's that's not just an off stream job, that's a new case job. Sorry, but no. That's a new case job. Like look at it, it's just all like you can't reuse that case. What the hell is it? That looks like tomato ketchup. I think mean, we've got a dinner on this. 
you wouldn't clean this like this wouldn't this wouldn't clean up yeah you're not cleaning that Ugh. nice link it link what mate nice yeah that's not just a uh, oh leak that's not just a uh, that's not just a clean up that's a new case I haven't got any to hand but I'm not reusing that case so no sorry um, I'll work on that another time I'll sort out a case and stuff and then I'll work on it um, yeah yeah I'll work on it another time I'll grab another one I've got more done with it plus I don't I just really don't want to do case swaps and hard drive swaps tonight All right, number four in the batch. Number four in the batch. Please be somewhat other than a hard drive. And this one's been uh, a little bit destroyed. Lick it like you lick your missus. What? None, none at all then. Please be something or that. And just a front panel. <laughs> Come on. Alright, I'm bored. No, I'm not doing that. Fuck off. It works. No, fuck off. Come on, give me a console that works. Uh, that doesn't work. Something that needs soldering. Falling asleep. No worries, Michael. Thank you for hanging out, mate. Oh, give me something decent. Well, I'm going to go downstairs grab something else. That, my dear, is private. People are giving these away. Yeah, I think someone just put them all in a bulk because they couldn't sell them. <laughs> it's not fair. PS5 time. Not got none in the queue, mate. Right, okay, well, I'll be back. I shall be back.
I'm back. Ugh. <sighs> Number five. And number six. And I've got two other things just in case. So let's have a look at these ones. I'm out of breath now. Let's check the bottom one. This one turns on as well. Yeah, another one that works. Number six. I'm not faffing with software. Oh, hang on. We got one with no power. Got one with no power. You watch it be a front fucking panel. How much does anyone want to bet? No, it's a front panel. I'm not doing number five. No, I refuse. Refuse number five. But number six it does got white though on the board. How much do you want it to front panel? If this takes a disc and turns on, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, oh you fuck face. You fuck face. You fuck face, you fuck face, you fuck face. It's a fun panel. Do you guys see what I see? I see boring fucking jobs. Let's get some decent. I refuse to do part swapping on live streams. I've got literally just got a pile of fucking consoles down here now. I'm not even joking. Just a pile of consoles. And my bottle of water. I'm not doing easy fixes, I'm sorry. Yeah, have a good night, Phil. Thanks for hanging out, mate. <coughs> we could water damage one deliberately. Okay, I'll give you a choice. We've got... We've got... A random PS4 Pro motherboard that CG sent me. That's IPA. <laughs> I wonder why I felt a bit dizzy. So we've got a random PS4 Pro what CG sent me. We've got a MacBook A1369. Or, I've got like three random A1466s downstairs. Um, or, I can deliberately water damage the shit out of a Xbox. One of these ones that's pissing me off down here and then try and fix it. No, I didn't own that car, mate. <laughs> MacBook, 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 MacBook. 
You tired? No, I've got a sore throat, mate. <coughs> I think MacBook's going to win that one. What's up with the MacBook? Bought it on eBay. Uh, let me have a look. Let me have a look. Just find the listing. Search your orders, MacBook. Uh, actually, I'm still waiting for an A. I'm still waiting for an A1932. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. That's the one that was not worth fixing. Um, I've got a 2011 one. I'm not doing the 2011 now. Uh, that's for a video. A1708, mid 2011. Is that the one? Uh, 4478. A1369. There we go. All right. Yeah, so this is, uh, but uh, pay forty four. <clears throat> so I paid forty four pound seventy eight for this. Eleven pound fifty postage, which was an absolute rip off. Doesn't cost eleven fifty to post a MacBook. Um, unit does not. Does no the unit does pair onto green light only showing when attaching a PSU. Unit was received as an insurance claim for liquid damage. Looking at the unit, the keyboard, and all the trackpad feels sticky. Liquid residue is visible on the logic board. So it's liquid damage basically. Uh SSD has been removed, that's fine. I have got some SSDs for these. Uh probably put a 128 in this one. Um but yeah, liquid damage, no SSD, don't turn on. Okay, so let's uh, them pink gloves suit me. <laughs> yeah, let's look at this then. All right, let's look at a MacBook. Let's look at a MacBook. Oh wow, what the? Hmm, really? Well, that's going to need replacing, isn't it? And half the screw's missing. Lovely. Half the screw's missing. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Let me just get rid of a few things. Pull that to one side. Hey, look, I can be like Lewis now. Crotch cam. <laughs> Crotch cam. I've actually got a spare screen for one of these. Um, I had a, I had one that I couldn't fix and it was gifted to me. Screen looks in good condition, to be honest. It's a bit loose though, like it, it feels a little bit wonky donkey. Don't know how much these are going for, to be honest. Right. Let me get. Where's my USB on meter gone? Where? Is my ammeter? Where or oh where have you gone? There you are, you little brick. Stupid ammeter. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Remove 
remove these couple of screws. on the JTAG Corrosion on the JTAG <coughs> Let's see what the board's taking Shall we? I think I've got If you fix this I've got a clutch cover I've got one mate um, Well I've got one on a decent screen but if you've got one that you're not using, then I'd happily take it. Du -du 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 -du. Which side is this stupid fucking charger? Twenty volts at zero amps. What about when I open the lid? Zero. Twenty volts, no current draw. Does it charge a battery? Because I'm not getting. Oh, I am giving a green light on the charger now. Okay, so it's slow to give me a green light, but it does give me a green light eventually. But it don't power on. Does it charge a battery? <laughs> Alright. Absolutely not that. Looks like a MagSafe 1, not a MagSafe 2. Um, yeah, it's a long charger, but it doesn't really matter. It should still power it. I'm giving a green light on the charger. And you should not do nada. So yeah, this is supposed to be the one for the uh, A1502, but it doesn't matter. Or it shouldn't matter. Funny, dusty. Meh. It is. It is. It is. SMC reset. Um, I don't think that would work, would it? Because it's not attempting to pair on. Actually, no, that is the right MagSafe. It's a smaller one, look. How do you do an SMC reset on these now? Can't remember. Is it command PR? Oh, this is one from before they even had... Um, Control Alt Shift and then hold power. Control Alt Shift power. Nope. Shift Control Alt power. Yeah. No. Nope. Hardware still in getting it. Give us sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah. So he's not doing nothing. It's funny how the MacBook charger automatically activates 20 volts. Mm. 
Nah. <clears throat> hold all those keys for 10 seconds. Do I really have to hold them for 10 seconds? Shift control alt power. Yeah, I don't think reset's going to work either. Alright, well, for starters, there's corrosion around the JTAG, from what I can see. Let's just disconnect. Ah, oh, you son of a bitch. Fucking things just broke on me. Let's just disconnect the battery. So, let's give it a visual inspection underneath the scope. Before I go any further. I don't really care for Apple either, but... Yeah. I do have a MacBook for sale if anyone wants to buy it. Uh, a 2020 MacBook. I repaired it on a stream. And to a viewer, I would let it go for... V75 which is literally break even well a little bit of profit but pretty much break even um, yeah so A2179 is it um, what is this MacBook that I've got for sale um, yeah, an A2179. Um, and like I said, I'll let that go for 375, which is giving me about 30 pound, 40 pound profit, but not a lot. Ah, I've run out of space. Hang on. I'm going to move some files to the other hard drive. Hang on. That's because I went on a record a thon yesterday. Right, let's just wait for a couple of them files to copy over. I may as well. <clears throat> I can't carry on until my um, can't carry on until I've got a little bit of space freed up because I need to be recording. Has it got any damage to the 375 Mac? Um, it's had a replacement screen and like an idiot, I cocked up. Um, basically, so I bought a second hand screen. I didn't want to pay full price because I wouldn't have got the money back. Um, I would have been losing money on the job or on the purchase. So I bought a second hand screen. It was a decent condition screen, but the laptop is silver and the screen lid is space gray. So, yeah, like an idiot, like an idiot, it's mismatched colours, which is why it's cheap. That's why I'm selling it cheap. Like, I could, if you have matching colours, I could easily get 450 for it on eBay. But, yeah. It's got the usual scratches and stuff, but other than that, it's in good condition. Well, it's in uh, decent condition. Right, is this ever going to finish copying that one file? Because now, now apparently I've got two megabytes less than I had a minute ago. Well, yeah, it's a 2020 MacBook A2179. It's a good laptop. 
it's fast but it's just I'm not a MacBook user I'm just not a Mac user so I have no reason to own it I want the outside to at least be in good condition like it looks now oh yeah no nah, it's not it's not going to be any good for you then mate unfortunately uh, oh Paul sorry this is uh, a MacBook A13 A1369 mate Right, now I've got some space free. I can continue. So I butchers a JTAG here. Uh, not just a JTAG, it said on the listing that there was other evidence of liquid damage, so I'm going to inspect everywhere. Uh, let's start with here on the um, on the board for the charge port, that looks fine. Uh, there's evidence that there's been some liquid around here before, um, maybe just a spot though. Is that PCH meant to be um, exposed? They're really not cool, the PCH. <clears throat> right, let me just uh, move my microscope a little bit. So it said on the listing that there was evidence of liquid damage. Uh, actually no, that JTAG's not. Oh fuck off! The JTAG's not actually corroded. Uh, we do have some damage around here though. Look, that's minute though. That's like really not that much at all. A bit on the LVDS, yeah. But there is a bit of damage around here. So, just there, whoops. Chip's exposed. Oh, it's the chipset, not the PCH. Oh, okay. Let's have a look on this uh, LVDS connector. Yeah, so there is a bit of corrosion on the LVDS connector. Um, Battery is disconnected by the way. Never mess with an LVDS connector while the battery is connected. Focus your prick. Yeah, so we've got some damage on that LVDS there. Um all right, let's just clean up this corrosion around here. Look, I know this is probably not going to fix it, but it potentially could. And corrosion is conductive as well, so... Yeah, there is a potential for it to cause some shorts. Well, it's going to need a new LVDS, that's for sure. Because that's one bruise alt. 
So the connector's knackered. So that's a thing, I suppose. Uh, don't even know if I have a spare. I'm assuming these, because these are very similar to the i1466, I'm assuming the i1466 connector is going to fit. And I do have a donor board somewhere. Yeah, that is a little bit bamboozled. How's it going, Godfrey? When does the shut up water meter merge come out? I don't really say it anymore, mate, so I can't really release it as merch. Alright, so I guess the board's coming out then. I guess the board's coming out. To replace that connector. Well, there's parts of, parts of pins stuck under there, so... Yeah, the board's got to come out either way, because that connector has to come off. So either way, I've got to take the board out. So this, I believe, is i5 second gen. Or i7 second gen, one of the two. disconnecting the fan that doesn't need to come out but the keyboard does and whatever connector that is not a clue always have to hide screws See, this is only the second time I've ever been in one of these we go and I'm not really seeing any corrosion on the other side actually cool that mobile is tiny yep yep all right let's pop that to one side for now I'll take a look at the LVDS later on uh, but I'm not really seeing much damage on this apart from that connector. Sorry, I'll take a look at the ribbon later on. I'm not really seeing any damage apart from that connector. So, I'm going to get that off. I'm going to remove that connector. Uh, I'll find the board number in a minute, mate. Um, let me just get it 
reconnected to the microscope. <clears throat> so as soon as it wants to load, there we go. Let's find the board number. Where is it? Under the SSD. Uh, no. <laughs> Why do they have to hide the board numbers? Oh, there it is. It's a uh, eight to all thirty twenty three A. Eight to all thirty twenty three. Well, not A, just eight to all thirty twenty three. Um, right, okay, so LVDS connector definitely needs replacing. So that is going to be well, step number one is just going to be to take it off, right? So if I take it off and clean it up, or take it off and clean up the area, it's going to get a bit of heat into the board. I'm not actually planning on desoldering it yet. I'm going to add some ready solder to it. Just want to preheat the board a little bit. Then move it on every board, yep. Yeah. Exactly. So I'll add leaded solder just to lower the melting temperature. I could use low melt, but nah. Where's the fun in that? I'd rather risk damaging pins. Plus low melt's expensive and this uh, this MacBook don't deserve it. It's been a naughty boy. <coughs> There we go. Say bye bye. Right, well, I could put a new nozzle on this flux, but it's almost empty. So. Why bother? Right, did I damage any traces? Uh, I'm working with leaded solder, mate. Might have lost a trace, but if that is a lost trace there and not just uh, an empty space, then that wouldn't be my fault because that's where the damage was. But I think it's just an empty space. They love leaving the board. <laughs> That'd make for a more fun, uh, more fun video, though, wouldn't it? For damage to traces, right? No, let's do it the proper way. If there's a risk of them damaging traces. Uh, in fact, to be fair, I don't really need to wick it. But I don't think there was enough corrosion on the actual pins for me to worry about wicking it.
I think it was very minute corrosion. So I don't think I should need to worry about risking damaging. Uh. <laughs> I don't think I should worry about damaging pads. He says that as it just tears clean off. Oh dear, dear, dear. Is that a non connected pad? I think it's a non connected pad. Yeah, that's no connect. It has to be. Bit your tongue, yeah. No, that one has to be a no connect, I think. Those ones there, though, those ones are very weak. By the look of that. So what I'll probably do there... <clears throat> pin 2 is no connect, yeah. Uh, so what I'll probably do there is... If I... Because this is going to this is gonna be the main input, right? That's going to be the main input. It has to be size of the trace it has to be i haven't looked at the schematic but it has to be the main input so what i'm going to do is i'm going to scrape a little bit of this away i'm assuming this is going to be either input for power for the lcd or the backlight one of two, one of the two so i'm going to scrape some of this away and then when it comes to putting the new connector on, I can retin it and uh, add solder to it to strengthen that pad. So I can add a bit of solder to that now and it all it'll strengthen it. But yeah, every other pad seems fine. But when I tin that again in a minute, that will strengthen it. Which is cool. It's fine by me. So, let's just see if we get any change. Now I've just cleaned that. Because if those pins were shorting out, then that could definitely prevent boot up. Once you scrape the backlight, okay. Yeah, I thought that would be, yeah. Uh, just given the size of the trace, yeah, it's going to be a high voltage line. What is it 52 volts? How do you like your Mac in the morning? I like mine with corrosion. Let's see if we get a fan spin. No, we do not. Well, you suck ass. Yeah, three and four are connected, yeah. How do you like corrosion in the morning? Does it charge a battery? No. No. That is, I am right. This is the right USB charger for this, isn't it? Um. I didn't think these took 20 volts. I thought they took 18. <coughs> Pardon. Pardon me. Whoops, sorry. Forty fourteen point five. Right. Well is there anywhere I can inject fourteen point five volts then? Because that's not gonna this plug's not gonna um request fourteen and a half volts.
I'm getting a green light on the charger, but it's still saying um, 20 volts. Right. The gloves are off. But that is the MagSafe, the right Mag MagSafe, isn't it? Right, charger, but should be 18. Uh, I don't think this um, charger will do 18. So would it not work on 20 volt then? Because if not, how the hell am I going to pair with this? If it won't work on 20 volts, then how am I going to pair with it? Can I inject, it's showing zero. Can I inject 18 volts into DC in? Is that possible? All right, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, um. oh, we have some corrosion around here. Where's that? Side of liquid there. Alright, well, I'll check that out in a minute. I'm going to get the DC jack out. So I think the DC jack I can unscrew. Uh, Well, I can when I find my charger, my uh, screwdriver. Curious what the battery voltage is. Uh, I don't know the pin out for it, mate. I'll check it in a while. Just inject voltage. Well, that sucks ass then. That sucks ass then, doesn't it? But yeah, at least I can connect up the charger now. Yeah, I'm gonna check. I'm gonna download the schematic and and. Uh, Check my rails, I think. I think it's time to check the voltage rails. Yeah, it's the PS4 Pro was at the start of the stream, mate. I just haven't updated the title because I'm a lazy bastard. Um, yeah. All right. <clears throat> oh, I'm just a lazy bastard. So let's just have a look. Where's my board number gone? Three, two, one. 
3023. So let me get a schematic for that. Uh, no current, mate. No current draw at all. Bad caps to the rescue. Just downloading a uh, schematic. Bear with me. Google is our friend. Boot up flex board view, open desktop. Now, oh, there we go, cool. Snap that there, snap that there, right. All right, so that J4700, uh, not J7, no, it's not that easy. Um, where's my LVDS connector? Is that it? No. Oh, it's fucking there. Oh, an idiot. J9000. Uh, so yeah, pin two is unconnected. Okay, so that trace doesn't matter. So let's find. The pair of rails. Where's my pair of rails page? Power aliases, page seven. Hmm. All right. So I'm not sure if anyone can actually hear me because I'm away from the mic. Um, so yeah, I'm going to check first and foremost my G3 hot rails because these should always be on. So I'll check my G3 hot rails first. I'll start with PP bus G3 hot. So PP bus underscore G3 hot. We can check that on the top of the board around Q7260. And that's there, look. Why did you not switch over? Thank you. F7040. Uh, what's F7040, mate? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's check F7040, actually. For PPV bat. Um, yeah, let's check that. That's a good shout. So, as soon as I find that... Uh, I'm nowhere near it at the minute. Oh, 
I think that's it. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, we do have some corrosion around there, actually. We have got some corrosion around there. So, let's have a look. So, voltage mode. Eight point thirty eight volts there. Eight point thirty eight there. That is actually working. Um, we do have some corrosion around here though. The white guy to the right. Uh, what this thing here? Yeah. Eight point thirty-eight. Eight point thirty-eight. Yeah, I was thinking that might be slightly low. Yeah. Um. What should PP bus G three hot be? It should be twelve point eight volts. It should be 12.8 volts according to the schematic. Or oh, is that? Yeah, 8.38 there as well. I'm assuming that's it. 8.6 on air, 12.6 on pro. Um, it says on the schematic that it should be eight, uh, twelve point eight volts. Hmm. But that's still low, surely. Eight point thirty nine. So there's a bit of voltage drop there, right? Schematic is wrong, right? Okay. Uh, so then, why is um, so? Why is it going to be low? SMC could have issues. Don't, why would you say that to me? That's a bit mean, isn't it, to tell me that? Um, hmm. I mean, we do have a little bit of corrosion in that area, but not a whole heap. We've got some corroded testicles points and corrosion under the chip and corrosion under the chip. Lovely. Lovely. Reflow time. Reflow time on the SMC. <laughs> you think reball? Oh, don't make me reball it. Don't be evil. Don't make me reball it at two fifty one a.m. Good night, Top Cat. Have a good night, mate. No, I refuse. I refuse to reball 
à la SMC. Ok. What is a SMC? It's the System Management Controller. Uh, so let me just show you this on the schematic. So the SMC U4900 located just there. If you look, it's located right around the same place as F7040, which is PP Bush G3 hot. If we look on U4900, we've got um. PP3V42 underscore G3 hot. Uh, yeah, there's shitloads of stuff for different things. It's basically the safe bridge for the PS4s. That's probably the best reference I can give you guys. Uh, it's basically the safe bridge for the PS4s. And it controls quite a few sense lines and voltage rails and USB ports and stuff like that. Uh, essentially, but it's pretty much a safe bridge, or at least that's that's how I reference it. <clears throat> so that's it. That's how I see the uh, SMC. I'm going to go 440 degrees Celsius. So I'm going to try a uh, stupid MacBook chip. I like it. Can have a lot more corrosion underneath. Yeah, but the the reflow should should get rid of that corrosion. I'm gonna preheat first. Yeah, no worries. Uh, David yeah so I don't know that much about MacBooks I mean that's pretty obvious but the way I see it, the way I would like to reference it is basically a safe bridge not if there's trace damage oh don't be mean stop telling me stuff like that there's not going to be any trace damage it's going to be nice and simple you know I could have to reboard and it might you it's only like 80 balls isn't it it's like it's nothing. All right, now I'm going to go in for the kill. Alright. Well, I'm out of flux in this tube, you bastard. Someone's been there before me. Yeah, um, yeah, but there's no. I mean, there there was no signs that any reworks happened to this. Right, I will squeeze every last bit of flux out of this. I'm gonna go for one more reflow.
that reflow was clean that re that last reflow was clean then that was a lot better than the first one so the reason I did it twice is because it wasn't quite moving in the one corner the first time round right, I'm going to make it sizzle Is that cracked in the top left? It shouldn't be. That flux has nice viscosity. The flux is quite good to be fair. But the the um the Kingbo flux is probably the most underrated flux you can get. Honestly, give it a try. Genuinely, give it a try. But it's probably the most underrated flux you'll get. But it's no clean flux. It does the job really well. Um, it's cheap as fuck. <laughs> it's cheap as shit. Thermal shock? Nah, no on these things. These things have never heard of thermal shock. The, these boards, like these... Um, <coughs> these 1369s, 1466s, honestly, they can take some shit. <laughs> honestly, they really can take some shit. Well, that looks a bit better. Let's have a look at some of these lines here because they don't look great. Now, these things are virtually indestructible. Well, I've got a feeling we're missing a line there. I've got a feeling we're missing a line there. To be honest. No, we're not. Alright, well, I can tin that then. Uh, so for scraping tin that, that will be fine. Where do you get the schematic viewer? Uh, the schematic viewer is called Flex Board View. This is a paid version. Um, it's made by Paul Daniels. You can type in, in fact, I'll type it in exclamation point Paul Daniels. Uh, anyone on Twitch, just go to pldaniels.com. Um, so, yeah. Actually, it might be exclamation point Paul. I don't know. Um, oh yeah, there you go. So there's a link in YouTube chat. Um, so yeah, Flexboard View is a paid version, but if you want to try it out, there's a lot more features in Flexboard View, but you can get Open Board View from his website for free, and that gives you a lot of features. But it just doesn't give you as many features as um as the paid version so on the paid version you've got stuff like pdf searching um, where you can just click on something and it takes you straight to the schematic on the pdf uh, honestly it's fantastic software i highly recommend it um paul's also a streamer on youtube paul daniels he's not the magician paul daniels although the software is magical so yeah i highly recommend giving him a try or giving his uh, software a try Try the free version if you like it and you feel like you're going to use it regularly, then, you know, buy it. Um, I don't actually know how much it costs because I'm going to be honest, I kind of didn't pay for mine. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of didn't pay for mine, so. Yeah, mine was actually gifted by a member of the community. My copy. Not by Paul, um, although Paul did offer it, man. I was like, no, I'll pay for it. And then someone won a copy of it in a giveaway. And because he didn't need it, he gave it to me. So I donated £20 to Paul to say thanks. Right, there's no break in that line. So again, I can tin that. 170 US one-off payment. Is that what it costs? That's it's. You know what? To be fair, though, for the 
for the um, like for the for the features for the actual thing that you get. Like honestly, I was I was more than happy to pay it. I didn't care what it costs. I know full well that it's a a decent bit of software. Um, yeah, 170 US would be well worth it. Like if you're just going to use it once or twice, then yeah, by all means, just download the free version. Like it's Paul supports fully supports the free version as much as the paid one, and he's more than happy to provide it for free. Um, Paul is a genuinely great guy, and he's an absolutely fantastic technician as well. So it's built by a technician, by a MacBook technician. It's not just for MacBooks; it's for any any board view software. Uh, but yeah, he, honestly, he's fantastic. Uh, let me grab a fresh tube of flux. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to tin all, all these pads that I'm scraping. I'm going to tin them. Let me grab a fresh nozzle. So yeah, all of these test points that I'm scraping, I don't want to sell this and have it bite me in the arse. So if I do get it working, I want to be able to know that it's going to, whoops, I want to be able to know that it's going to work fine. So all of these test points that I'm actually cleaning up and scraping back, I'm going to tin them. You don't want to leave the test points in that condition. Paul will probably be online in a minute. He'll probably be. Uh, he'll probably come and check the stream out. Might as well team that one as well. Why not? Okay, we've got potentially a damage resistor here. Let me find out what that resistor is and where it goes to. So if I hunt around the SMC, let's find out uh, where is that bottom left group of three, middle one. PCH pair OK. Yeah, that's going to be a problem. And um, SMC delay power on the other side. That is going to be a problem. That goes to U1800. Which is the PCH. So, what is the value of that resistor? We can go. We can click on that, and then I think uh, I don't know how to use everything on this, but we can click on that, and then we can just go P. Uh, we can just go PDF. So press on PDF, and then we can find out the value. Um, oh, Paul Daniels software broke. 
Oh, come on, Paul. I'm trying to show your software here, and you just break it. What the? Come on, Paul. I found a hidden feature. Uh, that's a zero ohm resistor. I think. That looks like a, f a zero ohm resistor. Yeah, optimized logic repair said it's zero ohm, yeah. Um, we've got a zero on the schematic here, so yeah, that looks like a zero on to me. And if we go back to the microscope and we test this resistor in resistance mode, I have a slight feeling that it might not show up as zero on. Shows up as 147,000 ohms. So, that's no good. 150,000 ohms, even. But that is no good. Let me just show you a la multimeter. So I'm going to test that. Um, I'm going to test that resistor. And apparently it's 150k. So that's no good. So that's not going to be receiving a signal to say that the pair is okay. Pretty much. Um, so that's going to be changed. We need to replace that with another zero ohm resistor, or or I could just bridge it if I haven't got one, because the zero ohm resistor is they basically basically they use zero ohm resistors as links to link one layer to another. Almost the same microscope and camera. Nice. It's a decent microscope camera, to be fair. Um, they don't. They do well. They can be used as fuses, but the main reason for them is to link two layers together. So you can see how you can see how this resistor here is connected to one side of this trace on this um, MOSFET. But then on the other side, it's a via. So if I was to wick that away now, that'd be a via, because it's basically linking two layers of the board. Um, no, I don't think a fuse would describe it better. It's a zero ohm link. The 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 general purpose of a zero ohm link is to link layers together. But for the sake of simplicity, it's pretty much a fuse. It's pretty much a fuse. No need for a link. Well, for... Well, I'm going to have a look in my box, but if I haven't got one, I'm just going to bridge it. Because it's basically the same thing. Like, bridging it and putting a resistor there is exactly the same. Like, it's not going to... It's not going to matter. But I probably haven't got an 0201 0 ohm resistor, to be honest. Uh, I've got 2 ohm. I've got 10 ohm. Yep, got no uh, I've 
I've got no zero ohms. Um, I have, however, got some. Oh, they're too fucking big. Well, well, I'll show you what we do when we use uh, an 0402 fuse from a Nintendo Switch instead of a zero arm link. This is what we do, do look. Yeah, have a good night, Kev. Cheers, mate. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. This is what we do when we use um, a component twice the size. Check this out. We go like that. So we scrape it. I see it is R7956, which is 150k. Is it? No, it's not. You're lying to me. I'm right by the SMC, just down a bit. Unless I'm looking in the wrong place. The board's upside down. Am I? Oops. Ha, 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 ha. Oops. Now I guess I've got to find 150k resistor. Well, that fucking sucks, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's have a look what I've got. I still have 150k. 100k, 100k, 100k. Whoopsie. That's my bad. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Glad you didn't put a zero on. Yeah, that would have been funny. That would have been fun, wouldn't it? Right, take that, you dirty girl. Well. I appreciate you telling me, mate. You could have just let me do that then. So I guess I'm holding the board upside down then. Oh well, to be fair, I mean. Damn it, where have you gone, you little bitch? Oi! Where's that gone? Oh, it's there. I mean, that probably needed replacing anyway, right? <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that, mate. Thanks. Well, that should give me 150k back. Bowers. <laughs> Take a bow. Yep. Well. There you go. 
For longevity, yeah. Oh well, easy mistake to make. Cut. Let me flip the board so I don't do it again. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it's 3v3 S5. Oh, it's a PP 3v3 S5. So, yeah, that, that probably would have stopped it turning on anyway if it was damaged. Um, let's have a look. Let's have a look what that cap is nearby. It's a 0 0.1 microfarad. Yeah, I ain't going to have any 0 0.1 microfarad 50 volt. But I'm assuming it's going to give me a decent reading and be nice to me. Um, so I'm having to hunt down the boards for one. Yeah, I'm getting like 17,000 ohms, so it's fine. Playing the software. It's Paul Daniel's software. It's Paul Daniel's software. Told you it was hidden features, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting a good reading on the cap anyway, so... Uh, yeah, I'm left-handed, mate, so... Yeah, I'm backwards anyway. No worries, Stephen. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. I appreciate that, mate. Oh, this, is not, this, ain't, this ain't a PS4, la la. Um, this is a MacBook. Um, Poor Paul, Lewis Rossman's always blaming him too. Yeah, if anything goes wrong, blame Paul. He's probably lurking in the chat somewhere, like, just sat there listening, laughing, thinking, you fucking pricks. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, come on, don't be a dick. <clears throat> I'm certainly not losing this cap. Thank you, Nico. I appreciate that, mate. End cap might be gone. Nah, it's fine. Um, well, I'll soon tell you. Let's get a resistance reading on it now from the top. Yeah, I'm still getting over 10k resistance reading there, and I'm not touching the solder. Find something you're picking, yeah. I mean, it's a one, it's a, it's a hundred nanofarad cap anyway. It's not really important. It's just going to be a smoothing cap. going to be a smoothing cap. The suspense is killing me. Does it boot? Probably not, mate. There's still a bit too much damage. I've got I've got damage on clock lines as well, so I'm, I need to fix them first uh, before I can trust it to attempt to boot it.
Yeah, oh, that boy is gone. I knew it. I should keep my trap shut. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Nah, I'm still getting like 15k resistance reading on it, so it's fine. Right, let me figure out what that test point's for. Because that cap's gone. Uh, that test point's gone. Uh, that test point is... Oh, lovely. It goes straight through that cap. Or rather, or rather that, that cap goes straight through it. Just a low quality troll. <laughs> Lovely, that cap goes straight through it. I'm still getting resistance though, 16, 17k. Oh, I haven't plugged it in, mate. Not since. Not since I've started replacing components. Let me just clean this clock line up. Well, I think it's a clock line. Test pad, yeah. See, this one, you can clearly see this one run straight through. So if this test pad was to go, then you would have to run jumpers. Just hunt for any more damage. Or any more damage that's going to cause. See, there's. Well, I'm not really that bothered about them test points there. They should be fine. Um, oh, that don't look great. But is that heat? What is that chip? U9701. Backlight. Backlight. We might not get backlight. I don't know. Um, not really bothered about backlight though until it boots. I can worry about that later. Uh, yeah, let's just put some power through it. Let's stop nitpicking. <coughs> Dave, very much we're going to get backlight. To be honest, so I'd have to. I would actually no. I've got a donor board, but I wouldn't find that tonight. I'd have to continue another time. Um, that's like down behind my desk somewhere. That donor board is. The main thing I want to do here really is see if he is try and get it to boot. Right, still no fan spin. Hmm. Nah, they won't have to change the colour. They can, they can colour it whatever the colour, whatever colour they want. Still zero volts. Eh, uh, still zero amps. Damn it. Might help if I was in voltage mode. Well, PP bus G3 hot. Still 8.37 volts. It's still low. Uh, so does that mean reboard SMC? Or replace SMC? I might have to order parts for this, to be honest. Hmm. 
might have to order parts. I don't know. I am thinking I might have to get an SMC. I do have a donor board, but I only have one. Um, let's see if I can find... I'm looking for donor boards. Uh, you know, is it really worth fixing? You can buy a fucking logic board for thirty pound. Fifteen quid for a donor board. Your wife dumped an entire cup of coffee on your 2020 map. Well, Jesus. Nah, this is a random one. I pulled out my pile, mate. Prefer a reboot. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably do that. Check voltage around you, 7000. Let me find that. Uh, U7000. Uh, right, you know, let's have a look. Have we tried another DC board? No, I haven't got one. To, I have got one, but not to hand. Um, so I think I might end up needing to. Buy a donor board or two. Uh, damn it, microscope. Right, while I'm waiting for that. I'm going to check charger DC in. Um, where's U7000? Hmm.
Is that you, 7000? Which way have I got the board here? Trying to figure out which one it is. I think it's that one. I'm pretty sure that DC in should be there. Nineteen point sixty eight volts. Nineteen point sixty nine volts. Um what else we got in here? Pin twelve C seven double O two three point four one four. Is it the ISL six two five nine? Uh I don't think so, but I think the ISL is on a different board, isn't it? Isn't that on the 1466? Oh, it is a 6259. What am I meant to get on 3v42 underscore g3 heart? Three thirty in the morning. Yeah, um, we do have a couple of bad test points. Well, not bad, but yeah, it's on here too. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is a six two five nine. Yeah, shall I? Because on um, PP3V42 underscore G3 hot, I'm only getting 3.413 volts. That's a bit low, isn't it? Correct me if I'm wrong, but that's a bit low. Hmm. U seven thousand is probably fine. So probably the SMC then. Yeah, I could have a little bit of voltage drop on my leads. Oh. Hey. Hey. Hey, Mr. Crow's and all around the chip I didn't see. Hey, Crow's and around all the chip that I didn't see. <laughs> U7201. That's pretty much everything. P5 VS3, PP5 V, P3 V3 S5, uh, PP plus G3 heart. Oh, that's corrosion, mate. 51980. Um, That's on a 1466 board as well, no? Hmm. 
Let's um, let's have a look at some of these components. And the corresponding test points. The good old Texas Instruments TPS lineup. Oh, is coming at us with some nice uh, corrosion. Always coming at us with some nice corrosion. I'll remove the chip in a minute. I just want to check these lines. And we have a missing test point gone there Okay, okay, what's on that line? What is on that line? C7264, P3V3S5. Well, nothing's going to turn off. Nothing's going to turn on without the 3V3S5 rail being present and correct. The perfect amount of flux. Needs more. You think? Going off. Well, that was a brand new tube of flux. The Lewis Rossman amount of flux indeed. Well, we are working on a MacBook, so... Yeah, kind of had to. Trying to at least bring a, a little bit of that flux back. Oh, and I knocked over some IPA. Flux doesn't affect anything crucial. <laughs> right, uh, where the fuck have I put my solder? Oh, there it is.
Wow, that took a lot of that trace. That took a little bit of that trace away. Right, all right, well, that's rather annoying. And that goes through to L6, L7260 on the other side of the board. Lovely. Lovely. Is a charge port working? Uh, yeah. Not enough flux to do that. Uh, just practice uh, desolation. Just practice, mate. That's all it takes, bud. Just jump into the cap below. Uh, you'll probably find that that cap isn't connected to anything now. I believe it's meant to go to the um, test point and then off from the test point through the board by the look of it. Looking at the schematic, um, yeah. So am I. I don't think it's. Does it go off from? The... Is there a wire under the cap? I mean, there could be. Uh... I could probably get the nub anyway. It's open line, mate. It's open line at the cap. I've never used a butane soldering iron, mate. Yeah, I'm open line at that cap. I'm on, gone. I'm in. I'm in continuity. I'm gone. No, I'm still open line. Sure, destroy the knob. I'm gonna jump it to where it goes to, don't worry. Um, I can see the knob, whether I can get to it 
Yeah, the whole nother question. What are you measuring to? Uh, I'm checking resistance to ground. Doesn't it need to be connected to the chip? Well, yeah, but it's supposed to go somewhere else as well. So according to the schematic, uh, or rather according to the board view, bear with me. According to the board view, it goes from pin 25 to P3V3S5, and it goes through the test pad and to the cap, right? But then from the cap, uh, sorry, from the, um, oh, hang on. It might rebound. Maybe. I don't know, because I'm going open line and I don't think I should be. But that test pad also goes off to other places, look. It goes through to the other side of the board. Look, on that test pad it goes through to the other side of the board. And uh, where did he go from there? So he goes to the fuse, he goes to Q7260. Where's them blue lines gone? I don't know, can't see him on this side of the board. Um, hmm. From the broken trace to the busty trace right by the cap. Uh, I'm not sure I'm following you there. There's definitely a nub there. There's definitely meant to be a nub. Uh. Yeah, there's definitely meant to be a nub there. Oh, hold on. Is there? No. I don't know. I thought I saw a nub, but no, I'm not. Yeah, you're right there, mate. It's not a wire. Yeah, it's substrate. It was the reflections. So I was looking at this here, thinking that was a nub, but it's not. Evidently not. I'm getting tired, to be fair, so I'm kind of looking at all sorts of random shit, putting two and two together and making six, I guess. Yeah, no, I thought I saw the dent, mate. Um, yeah, no worries, Steve. Have a good night, mate.
I thought I saw it. I thought I saw that dent for the knob, but nope. Yeah, it's all good. Yep. If you lost the cat pad, that would be bad, yeah. Well, it wouldn't be the end of the world because we've got board views, isn't we, so... Right, well, that's... That's nicely connected there. It will do the job. But yeah, I thought I was seeing the bump, but I wasn't. It's all good. Just me being me, mate. Just me being me. Yeah, I'll sort that in a minute, mate. I'm going to uh, just do a couple more. Because there's certainly a few more areas what need sorting. Hmm. I think this one's gone. I think that one might be gone. Wait, is that the right one? Real Archer X10, feel breaking things again, SMH. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Man, these boards are so hard to expose the copper. I just want to continuity check, asshole. Yeah, that's gone. Five million ohms. 
<clears throat> she be gone. And that's a PP bus load. Next layer is very close below. Yeah, I mean that that that's a PP bus G3 hotline, and that's gone. And that voyeur is just toast. Absolutely toast. And that one is a voyeur. Yeah, you know, twenty million ohms and counting. I'm back. You done yet? No. See, that side of the voya, however, isn't. That's giving me a twenty-five thousand ohm. But that side of that voya, because it looks like there's a little bit of excess voya that goes off into nothingness. Um, so I think it's supposed to come down here and then go to this test point and then go through the nub there. But um, it's kind of broken there. But I'm getting a somewhat okay reading there. So I think that side of it is okay. Don't see a nub. Um, I believe that is definitely, definitely meant to be one, mate. Uh, Am I right or am I wrong again? Or is it just a test pad? Does it not go through the board? I vote that Norby's under a track on far side of test point yeah track continues past the test pad that's what I'm thinking I think it's you might go through the test pad and then through to the other side um, actually it could very well be There. Yeah, it is right at the end there, isn't it? Because here I'm going... What's my reading? Come on, give me the reading. Give me the reading. Give me the reading. Yeah, like 4,000 ohms right there. Um, so I think it ends there and then goes through. So I think a jumper from here to here should restore that. Well, it's not going to hurt anyway. It needs a jumper there. So I might as well just run the jumper. 
Either way. Either way, that path needs completing, no matter where it is. Should I not be using the micro pencil for this? Somehow I don't think it's uh, the right tip for this job. What day is it in your perfect time of the world? Uh, perfect? Where did I get perfect from? Uh, what day is it in your part of the world? It is currently 4.05 a.m. Tuesday. Right, that's she's away. Need to let's just hold this jumper wire in place a second. So I'll improve that connection. Right, this is more for testing anyway. I can come back and fix everything if it needs be. Um, you know, if the jumpers are not quite there. In terms of connection wise, then I can always come back to them. I mean, I'm going to have to replace the LCD connector anyway. I just want to see if I can get it to boot more than anything. rather just get fan spin and it's getting late now so yeah 3 6 p.m. on Tuesday Jesus damn You watch me knock these jumpers off. That's soldered now. <laughs> I'll get away with that, won't I? Is the trace okay going back? into the chip side on the last trace you fixed. Uh, what do you mean, mate?
What hot air blowing the jumpers away? Oh, hot air don't blow jumpers away. Come on, technicians blow jumpers away. Risky bastards like me get away with it. Look. <laughs> Risky fuckers like me get away with it. You know why? Because I'm a lucky bastard. Same as using um, probably the biggest tip I should ever use on a on a MacBook. Still learning with the hot air. You have to get used to it. You do have to get used to it. But that, that's how you know your own tools, so... You know. But... You do get used to them and... Uh, I made a hot air for blowing the jumper away. No, my hot air don't blow my jumpers away. My hot air loves me. My hot air is like, nah. Nah, we'll leave them there. It's just going to be like the pad on the LVDS connector warning. Hey, that was a no connect. That's not fair. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not a fair comparison. Oh, and anyway, I've got something for you, right-handers. Fuck you. I'm left-handed. I can still solder in my right hand. Ha! Ambidextrous soldering. Yeah, buddy. Nothing that qualifies as good. I think he qualifies as good. Trying to learn the heat settings. Yeah, you, you have to learn. The thing is, you have to learn your own heat settings for your own board as well. That's the thing. But you can't... I mean, you can get rough examples, but you can't get exact because every machine is different. You take your vinyl orbs as current say, No, but you can pay me in kind. Can pay me in sexual favours. <laughs> Chaos orbs. No, cash and sexual favours only. Well, that will do me. I'm um, settling with that for tonight. Sounding tired. I am. I am, mate. I'm getting tired now. I burned a lot. Right, should we see if it boots? Before I fall asleep on my desk. Or drink IPA instead of water by accident. Fan spin, baby. Well, would we'll be if I didn't lose connection. Fan spin. Focus, you prick. She be working, boys. She 
He be working good. 0.38 amps. That does seem a little bit low. Is that normal? Don't know. I've never got one of these boards. Well, I've never fixed one of these boards, so. I've only ever worked on one other one. 0 0.41, 0 0.42. And bear in mind, this is at 20 volts, not 18. And there's no SSD. So, current draw is going to be a little bit lower than a typical 18 volt charger. Um, because that would be 160 watts. Am I right? Is that 160 watts? Is it 1.6? I don't know. Um, that's 160 watts, isn't it? 0 0.41 multiplied by 20. Or 16 watts, isn't it? I don't know. Alright, it's too late now. It's, like, it's too late to do math. It's quarter past four in the morning. Uh, seems about right at, 50, at 20 volts. Current draw is going to be lower because, um, yeah, more volt, more volts multiplied by current equals more watts. Ohm's law, yeah, I'm sure you'll figure it out. It's booting, so that's the main thing. PCH getting warm, CPU is getting warm ish. Uh, I'll fucking take it. I will take it. So no SMC V ball for Phil. No SMC V ball for me. So mate, it's not that, this ain't a Paul Daniel stream. No, this ain't no Paul Daniel stream. We ain't no amateurs. <laughs> anyway, ladies, gentlemen, my vote is killing. Genuinely, like, most vote is killing, mate. So I am going to end it. We won. We won. We won. Voltage higher, amps lower. What's the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, well, if we was drawing, I mean, if we was drawing a normal five hundred milliamps, then the watts would be higher because the voltage is higher. That's what I meant. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Thank you all. I appreciate it. I'm going to bed. Uh, well, actually, I'm going to go and have something to eat first. I haven't eaten. So, yeah. Um, yeah, Moth Vote will be all right, mate. It's, it's, it's the streaming. Um, for some reason, I've stopped recording. Don't know why. Don't know when. Don't know how. But I've been streaming for seven hours. Um, thank you all. I appreciate it. I also appreciate the support as well. Quickly before you go, the stream is going to redirect to Computer Booter Stream. So if you want to check him out, I'm hoping he's still live. Um, yeah, go and check him out and say hi. Um, if you want to support me, head over to Twitch and 